input. Let's see if this fixes it. I think it might have. Hello, everyone. Um, please tell me if this is working. It's been quite some time, so I am a little bit rusty. Uh, so I generally have no idea what I'm doing here in the slightest. It's so nice to see so many of you guys in the chat already. I see Emerson, TMZ, Fullscreen, and Heather. Oh my gosh. All right. You see Planet Zoo? That is great to hear. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, my entire graphics kind of like got wonky. So I'm trying to see if I can fix that really quickly before we jump right in here. Hello, Emmy. Hello, Anirud, I hope I said that correctly. Um, it's so great to have all you guys here. Uh, unfortunately, Nick is on holiday right now, so we don't have him right by my side, but that is no, no problem whatsoever. Um, I'm still trying to figure out why this isn't looking too good. Oh, like, you can hey kind of see that it looks a little bit blurry on here. I don't know why, uh, but we're just going to jump right in here, show off what we've been doing recently. Let me know how the audio levels are. I want to know how that's going before we even, like, start jumping into much of this stuff. But, yeah. Uh, happy Easter to all those who celebrate. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, and, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, and, yeah. If you guys do hear rustling in the back, my dog is here with me. And she's just, like, on the bed. And she likes to, like, dig her little holes and whatnot on there. But, yeah, here we are, um, and of course, everything is messed up. I genuinely have no idea why. Like, everything looks fine on the other end. And when I do change it to the borderless, which is what I usually like to do, it kind of just... Oh, did that fix it? Is everything crisp again? Alright, I think that fixed it. Alright, so, welcome. Uh, you guys may notice some very fun mods in here. Uh, let me just pull up the actual YouTube thing on the side so I could actually keep the up with you guys. YouTube. And I can hear myself, which is not the best thing in the world. But, um, alright, yeah. So, we've been working on mods, and we should probably talk about this before we even jump in. Uh, mods kind of broke. All animals require redos, and this is going to be a very big pain, but um, essentially what we're planning on doing is updating like all the non-axi mods to axis so we could actually use them and we could do some very fun stuff with that so i just want to show off something that both Endong and me love i really hope i pronounced that right and um apple bird have really helped out on it's getting all of our info boards all set up for all of our animals so you guys may notice a few familiar friends in here uh, once I actually do jump in here. We have a bunch of different mods from a bunch of different creators, but mostly and definitely all the ones I've uploaded. So now we're going to have full info boards for all of these. I really need to thank those two individuals for really helping out with this because it really is such an awesome quality of life thing to have on the side over there. And I'm just really excited for all that. And you guys may have noticed... The Marabou Stork is now out. I don't like when they kind of like scrunchle up like that. They look kind of funny. There we go. So the Marabou Stork is out. Oh my gosh. Hello, Zoov, Lazy Otter. We see Chris M, Claire, Basic, Zebras. Oh my god. Everyone's here. Congratulations to Basic Filler. Okay. I'm holding up my little white claw mango right now. Cheers, cheers out to Basic Builder for literally reaching 1,000 subscribers. Absolute, absolute gem over there. Absolutely respect the grind. And yeah, you guys do see a saddle build stork right there. But yeah, I really don't know what we're gonna get into today. Uh, I was planning on building in Boggy Bottom, so we're gonna hop over there in just a little bit. I do wanna have like a little bit of a mini mod showcase uh, with all you guys right here because we have some very interesting developments. With that being exhibits. So you guys may notice that we have a tiny little friend right here. Uh, and bless you. Oh my gosh, my dog just sneezed. Uh, and yeah, exhibit new species are a thing. And yes, Claire, it is a party. Uh, but yeah, new exhibit species are a thing. And that's going to be wicked awesome to see in the future. So this one is officially made by uh, both Jen and Inaki. And it's just really freaking awesome to have. Oh my gosh. And they move around so cute. Let me just find the other ones. And yeah, they like to like hang out on the log. Look at these two little friends. Look at them go. 
It's the cutest thing in the world. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna hold off for a little bit before I move anywhere else while I do post the link to this on Twitter because I absolutely forgot to do so. Absolutely professional YouTuber over here, so hopefully that all links up. And that is all good. I'm gonna post it in a few showcasing channels as well. Oh, and I have no idea what just fell there. I think my dog just knocked my laptop down, so that's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, let me just pull up everything. Let me just see everyone. You worked on Sugar Pine in the first time in ages. I'll shoot you some images later. Yes, I'm so excited to see it, Zoo. Um, but yeah, we officially have axolotls. I know. They're so freaking cute, and it's so awesome. So, Inaki and Jen have been working on getting some more interesting things going with the exhibits. So, right now, we still do have, like, this all functional, which is also really amazing. So, you can see they kind of move around when you take that away. And look at them swim around. Unfortunately, the kind of mesh of the actual exhibit doesn't really work for them. But I think they'll probably fix that out later in the future. And, yeah, what else do we have? Nick released so many awesome props. So he worked on these alongside Scott, and it's just so awesome to have all these frogs in here. But we go over that all tomorrow. We'll hold off on the showcase for all that jazz. We are going to hop right into Boggy Bottom, though, and I really hope this is the right one. Uh, so yeah, today we are going to be making our proboscis monkey habitat for Boggy Bottom. Uh, you guys are quite a few episodes behind on it on the normal channel, so you guys will see some relatively sneak peeks and stuff like that, so that's all going to be really awesome. Tomorrow is the mod showcase coming out, and then after that we should have, I believe we should be having the Spectacled Cayman, uh, the God of the Axolotl. <laughs> but yeah, we should have the Spectacled Cayman speed build coming out after that. We have the Wild Water Buffalo and Lechway Habitat coming out after that. And hopefully tonight I could finish up the Proboscis Monkey. You guys are going to hold me accountable for that. Uh, but yeah, I've just, haven't, I've just been having such a blast with this zoo. Um, you guys probably know I started uh, Tear Garden a while ago. And that really didn't go anywhere. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> I just really wasn't feeling the drive for that. And it kind of sucks when you have the Europe Pack. Because you only got four animals, I guess five if you count the salamander. But, I don't know, I just really didn't feel the drive to finish that park. And the whole Europe style, Drew did a beautiful park on that, but I couldn't ever match up to that. I know Rudy finished his zoo too, and like, you know, there's obviously a bunch of European animals in the game. But I really just didn't feel like building through them. Uh, Alright, let me see. Antimini? Antimini? Uh, will Boggy Bottom be vanilla only, or will you use mods? I am only going vanilla for this one. I know, it's very shocking, very shocking. I have not done that since uh, Sugar Pine, and I definitely, definitely, definitely want to try that challenge again. It's so fun doing this, like, all, you know, all vanilla, and I've gotten so much done with it so far. So, you guys can already see, we're back here at our Asian Small Clod Otter exhibit. And, yeah, this place has been coming along very nicely. It's been so fun just to, like, pop in here and do everything. So, we should probably address right off the bat. These are for our proboscis monkeys up here. So, these are based off of the National Zoo O-Line. And if I pull up National Zoo O-Line, we gotta actually see what this is like. So, these are very much directly based off of these. Deepar, you've never seen one of my streams. I apologize. Oh my gosh, you're in for a treat. Or what is the opposite of a treat? I'm not really sure. But this is essentially kind of the vibe that I'm going for. I know that proboscis monkeys don't brachiate. But I love proboscis monkey. I really do. So that's why I'm building for them. They're one of my favorite animals. And they're just so fun to build for. And look at this. Look at this handsome man. Look at him. I, I relate to him. I really do but essentially I set this all up beforehand I really just want to get these beautiful towers all set up they can climb through the idea would be that they would crawl through through like little holes then go up the middle to actually access that but unfortunately with the constraints of the climbing in the game I really couldn't achieve that unfortunately so that's totally fine we're kind of making our way through that as the best as it is uh, but yeah they have three different habitats so we have one main one over here with two different um, viewing areas. 
So we have one that has water, and this is something I really want to incorporate because they are one of the only monkey species slash primates in the game that actually swim. And they're some of the best swimming primates out there in the world. So that's something I really did want to include over here, just as a way to show off their very, very unique behavior. And we have them kind of going throughout the entire zoo. So we have all this over here. We'll get to all the other stuff that you guys haven't seen yet in just a little bit. But we will have Babarusa over here. That's going to be a really fun one. Uh, and then we have another habit habitat for them right over here. So they could access this one. And I do have like, you know, climb proof fence over here. So these are supposed to be like hot wires. So in case if you guys don't know, hot wire is used in zoos to keep animals away from like climbing out and stuff. So that's something that I like to include right there. Uh, but yeah, they also have one other section right over here. And it's kind of like this big old meeting grounds. I like this little plaza over here because you get so many different things. But yeah, you get a nice little habitat over here. So I kind of set up the pieces. We just have to actually dress up everything inside of them. So that's going to be the plan today. But you know what? Before we do that, because I'm too scared to actually build, I've been starting on our little reptile ra ra reptile roundabout, I think we started to call it, uh, with the spectacled caiman. And this guy looks so cool. But yeah, these guys look wicked awesome. I'm so happy that we got these guys. At first, I was a little mad, uh, pretty much like the rest of the community, <laughs> about these guys. But they do look incredible, and you know what? How could you complain about any crocodilian that looks like that? They look so freaking beautiful. I, I know Kawadi, a live stream from Leaf. It's so wild. But yeah, you have another view down here. This feels like this feels very delay designer, and I really don't know why. It it just really screams it. Um, but I don't know. I really do like the vibes in here. It turned out so nice. And you have a nice little mural right over there. So that's everything happening. But yeah, today we're just going to pop right in here and start to build. So yeah, um, let me know how you guys are doing. Um, Easter is tomorrow. Holy crap. Um, where are you guys doing for Easter? Are you guys going anywhere? Are you guys making anything? Um, yeah, just talk to me about it because I'm so excited. Uh, I know I definitely want like... So, my plan for this, I want to actually fix this up a little bit because that water is a little too overbearing. Uh, I want them to swim, but I don't really want that much, like, empty space in there. So, I'm going to, like, try and cover that up. And, yeah, it does seem to be slowing down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Thought I was going to crash right there and thought I'm going to crash right here. Everything is just going great right now. So, yeah, hopefully we can just plop this in here. And thank you so much, Claire. <laughs> no one needs to like the stream. Hell, I wouldn't even like the stream. I'm kidding. I actually have it liked on my own. But, yeah. What we're going to do over here, though, that's a perfect, like, level of water for them to go in. So, I do want to get some plaster going on under here. So, you guys know me. I like to do my implied realism. So, we're just going to tuck a little bit of plaster under here. And have it be sort of like a kind of like concrete-ish kind of bottom. And pardon me just for one second, because the music that I'm playing on the side is going a little bit too ham, and I can't even hear myself think. So I think I could just get rid of that. And I think, hopefully, the music is playing through here as well, so I could just turn it up on here. Uh, if I remember where to do that, probably audio. Probably audio would be where I get that. And there we go. All right. We got a little bit of music. I'm going to record with uh, Ansel. And we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, you would also do some curves in the pool. I'll tell you what, Zoo. That's not a bad idea. I think what I'll do is I'll use that to my advantage. I'm just going to do a little bit of a divot right there. And we could work with that in just a little bit. We can make that look kind of concrete. And we could kind of work away with that. Going to a family gathering in a small town in the middle of Kansas, so that'll be fun. Chris, listen, Kansas, beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. I love corn. Probably one of the best crops of Kansas. That's incredible. Now, I really do hope you guys have a nice little Easter. It's always such a nice little time. Uh, I haven't really seen my dad's side of the family since Christmas, so that's going to be really awesome just to see like all of them there. 
Uh, I'm even making garlic bread for everyone, so I hope everyone enjoys that. Uh, but yeah, it's just a nice little, nice little uh, season. <laughs> if you don't subscribe to Leaf, it's a must. Heather, no. Don't force them to do that. They'll be forced to see me every single day. I don't even like to see myself every single day. That's why I break every single mirror in my house. All right, now moving on through here. I think I kind of do want it to be a little bit more like angular in here. Because I kind of do like the whole idea of like... Okay, so we should probably talk about this. Uh, so this is our whole Asia area. It's kind of organic, kind of like, you know, a lot more... I don't know how you describe it. A lot more organic, yeah. Uh, our reptile corner is going to be a lot more angular than anything else. And moving on through here, our Japanese section is also pretty uh, organic. So I'm not sure. I kind of want to go with like some more angular shapes in this habitat. We'll see what we can kind of do to uh, make that work. But I think I'll just kind of bring that in a little bit. And we can see our monkeys are already swimming, which is exactly what I want. All right, you do have one of the largest elephant habitats in Kansas. Where is that? Do tell me the zoo, because I feel like I know what one you're talking about, but I don't want to say it for fear of looking like a big, bumbling idiot. Is it Omaha? Is Kansas... Is Omaha in Kansas? Could I be wrong? I genuinely have no idea. I'll be spending tomorrow with the fam, heading over to my mom's with the dog. Go. Love that. I'm not mean to myself. I'm being real with myself, bestie. Uh, but moving on through here. Just going to add a little bit of a staircase because you guys do know me. Implied realism is where I succeed. So we're just going to have this kind of be down here. So that the keepers can actually access down here in case if they need to clean it. Or do something along the lines of that. And just generally keep it nice and tidy. Wichita, Kansas. Omaha is in Nebraska. Okay. My buddy Forge just went to Omaha and it was the coolest looking zoo in the world. I'm so jealous of him. Sedgwick County Zoo. I hear a lot of good stuff about that place. My buddy son always talks about it and he talks about every single zoo. But that one in particular, I remember a few interesting things about. So that's honestly wicked cool. It's just so weird that like all the good zoos are located, you know, out in the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> like come on guys give us some like we have franklin park zoo that's probably like our biggest one over here and it's not good it's not the best i don't really remember it being like you know the san diego of the northeast i really hope no one calls it that because that's just blasphemy right there zoo you're going to san diego in a few weeks okay i cannot wait for you to bring home all the inspiration and post it all on Bro Nation. I'm so excited to see all that happen. You live in Ohio. You're spoiled with the zoos. Tell me about it. I'm so I'm so jealous. I'm literally so jealous. Uh, but here's the, here's the con, though. You live in Ohio. Who wants to live in Ohio? Like, that's scary to think about. <laughs> I'm playing. Is Bro Nation a public server? You know what? I genuinely don't know. Um, I think it might be. Let me just... Okay. Uh, this may be hidden. Use copy button. I'm gonna try this. If I get in trouble with the big old mic sheets, that's just some egg on my face. But there you guys go. That's usually where I go get go to get my realistic inspiration and stuff like that. So you guys will see like me post a lot in there. But you guys will be amazed with everything else that people post. Why is this lagging? Oh my god, I genuinely don't know. Uh, but yeah, you guys will be like, oh my god, that leaf guy? Oh my god, he's nothing compared to like Wix, Eben, Just Goron, all these beautiful, beautiful names. And it's just really awesome. It like, I'm, I'm no, I'm kind of like jokingly being hard on myself, but it really is such a really cool community that so many awesome creators are a part of. I don't know, I just really like going there every single day, checking out, like, what's new, seeing what everyone's posting. It's just a wicked nice community over there. Love to see it. I used to be a marine mammal specialist in SeaWorld, and I got to go to the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park for free all the time. It was so inspiring to see all of their habitats. I am so freaking jealous. 
Not only that you got to go there all the time, but that you got to go there for free. Because I've looked at their prices and ooh-wee mama. That does not seem good for the wallet right there. But moving right through here. Uh, I wanted to make this little trench area just feel like a little bit more complete. So we're just going to copy this a little bit. And no, I don't want to copy at all, please. Yes, just so you know, when you post in Bronation, people will give tips and critique your zoo. So don't get mad if you get criticism. That's what I love, and I wish more people would give me criticism. Not only on my zoos, but also because of, like, my pictures. Because I feel like I never take the best screenshots. And it's just like, bro, just help me out. Let me learn how to, like, take good screenshots. Because it's so freaking difficult to, like, match up the lighting and all that stuff. I don't know how that stuff works. How does it even work, guys? Where I live, there is, like, one zoo and no zoos for a couple of counties. Okay, yeah, I feel badly for you. Because <laughs> at least over here, we have a bunch of small zoos. Granted, they aren't the best zoos. But at least we have zoos. Um, yeah, I'm, I count my blessings wherever I can because it's always... Uh, kind of sucks whenever you don't really have a zoo near you. But as long as you have a zoo, like, relatively to you that's fine hello brody hello gaming hyena for zsu when i update in my press room my picture sucks i know right oh my god i gotta get better with that jazz i don't know i just gotta learn boys but yeah this is kind of coming out nicely like this is exactly what i needed just to like sit down with you guys and gonna just have people to talk to while I go throughout all this and have people constantly putting pressure on me to finish it. <laughs> but no, I really wanted to get this done as soon as possible because I really do love the proboscis monkey. It's been a while since you've been able to catch a leaf stream. I know, I don't really do them too often. Uh, normally, I just don't really have the time or the capacity, capacity to do it because, well, I live with my parents and they like their quiet time. So that's something I like to respect. So we have that going on. And whenever I do get like the, you know, the times to actually stream, it's always quick and nice just to chill out with you guys. Especially so many of you guys like Claire and Heather love talking with you guys live. Um, but yes, moving on through here. Just copying all those plaster pieces and making it feel a little bit more complete. And this is essentially what I'm doing over here. I think... Um, this should be able to keep our monkeys out from, like, you know, the general path and whatnot, because we do not want any monkeys everywhere else. We finally got penguins in Prague Zoo after a year of delays. I am so jealous. Uh, the closest penguins to me are in Turtleback Zoo in New Jersey. I don't want to go to New Jersey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even like they're on exhibit. You have to actually pay for, like, breakfast with the pangolins or something. And you know what? I'm going to put that on my, like, radar to do maybe sometime this year. Maybe I'll take the old lady out there sometime this year and just, like, you know, make a little road trip out of it. But, I don't know. I really wish pangolins were a lot more common where I am because they really are cool animals. Um, but it really just does suck that they really aren't the most common out there. Which, you know, it's fine, because, you know, it's conservation, I guess. But, yeah. That's awesome that you guys are getting them over there, though. That's... I'm Matt Jelly. Frogo is here, too. Oh, my God. We have the whole ZSU gang. I live down the street from my zoo. So it evens out. Yeah, that's awesome right there. Roger Williams is, like, a couple... I want to say, like, a couple... Like, 15 minutes away from me, which is awesome. Uh, it's just really awesome just to have a zoo that you're like, spur of the moment, yeah, I want to go here today. Uh, so that's really great to have. Also, don't mind me just copying that same building over there and reusing it. Because, you know what they used to teach you in, like, all school and stuff? It's reduce, reuse, recycle, and Lord knows, I love to recycle my jazz over here. So I'm just going to clean this up before I slap it right against the other pieces. And I think I will kind of like get rid of all this jazz. And hopefully this will all look good in the end. I'm very nervous that it won't. 
I'm sorry, I'm not looking at chat right now. I'm just very, 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 very precarious with all this stuff. And I just gotta get rid of all these too. Also, yeah, this was a custom wall that I did. You guys will see this in... What day's episode is this? I think it should be around Tuesday or Wednesday. It depends if I want to put out another video or not. Worm. Wailing Worm. Hello. Yeah, we got the whole ZSU crew over here. Uh, yeah, in case of you guys have not been watching the channel as of late, ZSU is the Zoo Sims United community. And it's just a really awesome project if franchise mode really isn't your speed. If you actually do want to trade with, like, real people and have, like, these fun interactions with people, I cannot recommend ZSU enough. It's a really fun community, and it's just really fun just to, like, trade animals around and stuff like that it's quickly become one of my favorite things in the world and it's like one of these last remnants of uh zoo tycoon 2 community and like you know while it does while it's not really the most popular thing anymore uh it still is really awesome just to see so many people from those eras kind of like still be active and alive like lukoshi and stuff like that uh Mealy is very active over there and it's just really awesome but yeah, how does that look? I don't know. I kind of like that. It feels a little bit too blocky, but I think we could uh, play around with that. LP Gomez, hello. Felix, hi. FN Snipes, hello. Can you not mention teaching in school? You're on spring break. Too bad, Claire. I'm sure you have some papers to grade or something. Uh, but moving through here. I know I keep on saying that, but I like to move. Let's look at the monkey. Look at him go. I really do love this. I would have done orangutans, then I saw that Eben did one, and I was like, you know what? No, we gotta change this out. Also, someone was asking, how do I get them to do this without escaping? Uh, if the game would actually load, I'll show you. If I could click on this. Yeah, so I use a lot of null fences over here. So I kind of have this kind of link up right through here. And essentially, it doesn't need to perfectly match up. You can have it go over that. Uh, this is just so I have, like, a rough outline of where I want it to go. But you essentially link them up kind of like that. And it works really well. Like, you just draw out the habitats. And you kind of, like, make those things kind of pop up. I don't really know. I really do like it, though. It turned out so nice. I also have this one right over here. I don't know. It doesn't really go to anything. It's just, like, another thing that they could grump on. Grump on. Grump on. Nice. Uh, grab onto. So I really just want to include that right there. But I love the looks of this, like, right across the landscape. Oh my god, it looks awesome. But yeah, look at them swimming around. Look at these guys. I think I kind of want to do, like, a mangrove kind of approach over here. Uh, because if we look up, like, you know, let's look up proboscis monkey uh, habitat, I guess. We could try and look for some inspiration together. So yeah, they do come from like the jungles of Borneo, and you can see they kind of have like the uh, mangrovey kind of looking trees happening. Um, and yeah, I just kind of want to do something semi-aquatic with these guys because they do swim, and when they don't swim, they're just lounging around. Uh, zoo habitat. Let's look up that because I think there was a really awesome one. I can't remember where it was. Uh, but I think it might have been, like, the Bronx or either the Bronx or, like, Singapore or something. Where it had, like, a bunch of mangroves going into the water. I think it's that. Yeah. That's it. So, I kind of want to do something like that. So, we'll, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll probably use that. Alright, is this a mod? No, this is completely unmodded. So, if you search by, uh, if I find it correctly, theme, modded. And if it loads, we cannot use any of these pieces. I do not want to use any of these pieces. Heather, oh my god. <laughs> Heather, thank you so much. Oh my god, you're literally the best. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for keeping chat all nice and clean. You do not need to donate whatsoever, please. <laughs> I'm just happy you guys are here to begin with. But no, that literally made my night. Thank you so much, Heather. Uh, but... Yeah, so, just gonna prattle on about and start to decorate this with a few aquatic plants. And I think I do want to kind of, like, cover that up. So I will kind of 
push this over here. And I think that should line up nice and tight there. Yeah, claps in the chat for Heather, please. Uh, she did not have to do that whatsoever. And it literally made my night. So please give her all the love in the world. She is our little savior here in our tiny little frontier community. There we go. Oh, I forgot the vents. Funny Among Us reference. Uh, we're just going to pop these guys right under here. I've been loving putting vents like right at the edge over here. So it's like you can't really see them from the guest view. But if you do look like right behind the scenes and like you're looking at someone's zoo and it's like, oh my god, they put in all this little extra detail that the guest doesn't see. That's a jazz I like. I want to have some of that happen in here. And yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, by the way, free build doesn't work. Good night, Nightman. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, by the way, free build does not work. And it is easily one of the saddest things ever. Because it's so difficult to build without it. Oh my god, I wish we had it back soon. Because it's such a useful, useful, useful little tool. Uh, but over here, I think... What do you guys think? Should we cover that up right there? Because I'm thinking, we're going to have like a big climbing frame right over there. But I want to see if we can cover it up over here. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Let's not even think about it. Let's just go. I just want to see how it looks beforehand before we uh make any commitments over here. You gotta do that in your ZSU zoo now. Vents, yes. Always do those small little details. They always like come out so nicely. Uh yeah, let me just Okay, first of all, let's actually separate these from the rest of the group. And what happens if I actually turn that upside down? Because I don't really like that all that much. And let's go into our handy dandy explore mode. This one's so fun. Yeah, free build not being here. I know, it's so sad. Uh, It's not that obstructive. Like from normal guess height, you can see it perfectly fine. I think we may actually keep that. I think it actually does kind of help center the build a little bit more too, which is pretty nice. And if you're a kid, you're probably like from this angle. This is why I like. I love the crouch. The crouch is easily one of like the best things to add into this. Um, because it lets you see from like a kid perspective. And that's like the main clientele of a zoo. And of course you could do like a very tall adult, which is totally me in real life. I'm totally not like four foot tall. Uh, but no, that's really awesome right there. Alright, so I think we will get a move on with that. And I do kind of like that color over there. I think I may change it, like, a little bit darker. Just to kind of, like, match the bamboo over there. And we're going to use some beams. When will free build work again? Zoov, I do not have the answer to that, unfortunately. Uh, since Kai is the only person, Kai Adenic, by the way, for those who are acquainted with Nexus names, uh, Kai Adenic is the only person who knows how to actually handle that stuff. And unfortunately, I don't know where he is right now. I think he's still in the community. He's probably doing stuff for JWE. I don't really play too much JWE anymore. Really fun game. Maybe we could pop into that in just a little bit, um, just to play around with it. Because I have not played with the Cretaceous pack yet all that much. But, um, no, he's probably over there busy doing some jazz with that, making magic happen. Uh, but, yeah, it'll be updated when it gets updated, unfortunately. I wish I had the answers for you, but such is the way of life. And I think I will even double down on this with a marquee beam here. Just as a way to uh, help it feel a little bit more solid. This is what I like to do. I like to add these small little details to my windows. I saw my buddy Crocs doing this for um, like a small terrarium made out of like the faux rock bricks. You crouch by clicking Q, Zoof. Literally the best thing they've added so far. Jake! Jake! My boy, how are you? How are you doing? Uh, but yeah, it's one of the best features they've added. Uh, what is happening? JWE sounds fun. You might get it sometime. Like, listen, I played through the entire JWE career mode and chaos mode, and I had a lot of fun with it. Okay, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If you like management, and this is where it gets me, 
because Drew, beyond Drew TV, liked it. He loved the management in it. And you know what? I completely agree. The management is easily one of its biggest strong points. And I feel like we don't give it enough credit for that because it really is so amazing to just pop in there and manage your own dinosaur park. It really is. Um, so that's what I do recommend if you guys did like, um, I'm trying to think of like management games that I've played in the past. I guess like more so Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 level styles of management. It's very much, um, I don't want to say micromanagey because it's a little bit more than that. But it does have some micromanagement elements in there. So I do recommend it if you guys do like that. Uh, Frago, have a wonderful night. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, enjoy your Easter if you do celebrate it tomorrow. Even if you don't, pop over to Target the next day. Get a little bit of a day-old Easter candy sale good thing going on. I don't really know. Uh, and treat yourself a little bit because you deserve it. But yeah, I kind of like that. That's looking pretty neat. Um, I think I do kind of want to double this up over here. So what I kind of like to do, if I want to get something to look perfectly even, I kind of just bring it over there. And apparently that is a little bit too far. Uh, how am I going to do this? I got to find out like the true center. There it is. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to do that. Pop that right there. And pop right that there. So I think what I'm going to do. I will actually take this out. Our monkeys will be a little bit sad. That we're taking their pool away for a little bit. But we can work with that. Uh, I want to move that right over there. And get rid of these. And I'll get rid of these. And I think from there. We could actually edit this. And move this. Over to the true center. And I think. I think we'll actually get rid of that and hopefully we could actually change that to glass and that should be it that should be even right yeah so i think again what i'm gonna do uh number one i think i kind of want to even this out because this is gonna drive me crazy if i don't uh just kind of bring this up a little bit so we don't have this looking all jank and whatnot i'm gonna leaf Yes, I am going to leaf too. That is quite literally what I'm doing. I am leafing right now. Uh, but let me just place down these right here. And we could kind of link this up to our little plaza over here. Not really sure what I want to put over there. Maybe I'll keep it open. Maybe I won't. Not really sure yet. Um, I will link these up right here because I don't want this to be all open. Um... And yeah, free build would help out so much over here because you could actually like fix those tiny things, but it's totally fine. Uh, Zoov is out. Have a wonderful night, my friend. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's always great to see you there. And I can't wait to see what you post on Bro Nation soon because you are an amazing builder, my friend. And what I'm going to do right here, I'm just going to double that right over there. And it's just a really easy way to get like, you know, nice even things happening right there. Uh, I'm also going to double this down right over here just to have this be all nice and flush because I feel like that big of a wall wouldn't really work. It just seems so structurally insecure that I kind of need to change that a little bit. So we're just going to tuck that in right there. Beezy! I am live! Hello! McBacon, have a wonderful night. Gaming Hyena, I have played Planet Zoo... I haven't played Planet Zoo in a while. Uh, still haven't completed my 10 animals for ZSU. Guess I'll hop on sometime and build some exhibits. I really suggest you do. Uh, the last update, like, it's not really the shiniest one uh, in terms of, like, you know, new features and whatnot. But it really is such a nice quality of life one that I really do recommend you guys, like, if you haven't played in a while, definitely pop in again. Uh, another quality of life thing that I recently found out, if you have, like, a bunch of different objects of the same, like, flexi-color channel, uh, usually you had to go into one by one and go into the color editor, but now, check this out, you could just do them right from the select screen, and you can edit them all right there. Really awesome stuff. Love seeing that jazz. It looks awesome. Thank you so much, BZ. BZ, I need to channel your inner climbing frame genius. 
uh, because I am going to be building a climbing frame for these guys, and I am super scared about it. And I also just want to double that back on itself just to have the glass be a little bit thicker. Uh, and we'll add the water back in right now. And hopefully that should be good. Do want to have it be nice transparent. Maybe we'll even add a few bubbles in there just to help keep it alive. Like, I just love that. It just helps keep the uh, thing looking alive with all that. I don't know how to describe it. Alive. That's how it works. Alright. What did Heather say, Heather? Where'd she go? Stay. I can't stay away from any of that candy resistance, even though I want to. Oh my gosh, tell me about it. Like, I'm considering, like, just going to Target sometime this week, getting a little candy, but listen, we'll see about it. <laughs> but, alright, so, I gotta focus over here. Um, oh no, was Jake sick? Is he okay? Is my boy Jake? Haven't gotten to build for anything of the new animals because I've been sick. Tonight, finally, Jake, heck yeah! can't wait to see what you post that's gonna be really awesome uh all right so what do i need to do over here i should probably kind of like cover this up a little bit uh so what i like to do i kind of just like to have these nice bushy areas and kind of cover that all up right there upcoming hope island projects i'll tell you what in just a little bit because i don't actually see myself finishing this entire habitat soon uh, we could actually pop over there to Hope Island and show you guys our progress with that. Because I'm very proud of how we've come along with that. Uh, Alright, so climbing frame. I think, you know what? I'm feeling lazy, guys. I can't really blame myself. Um, I think I'm going to use someone else's climbing frame blueprint. Because I really just want to get this habitat done. <laughs> it's not like I'm not having fun. It's just I don't build climbing frames. Um, we gotta see what other ones we have in here, because I know so many people build so many. Um, oh my god, Mathly, Math, Math, Mathly T, Mathly T, there we go. So nice to see you here, another wonderful Planet Zoo streamer, recreating the St. Louis Zoo. Uh, how are you doing? How's it hanging? I saw that your dog recently got the old snip snip. Hope they're doing okay over there. Building a flamingo exhibit right now. You do that, gaming hyena. Do that. I literally just built one for ZSU. I can't stop building flamingo habitats. They're literally my favorites. Alright, so I kind of like that right there. I gotta see who this is by. And part of my computer. <laughs> it's a little bit of a stroke right there. Uh, I gotta see who this... I refuse to ever build any of my own climbing frames. Tell me about it. Literally awful. Not playing Planet Zoo. You're snuggled in bed. Claire, what time is it over there? I feel like you're always up at this hour. What is into you? Then again, you you are a teacher. So I know you guys have those kind of wonky sleep schedules. Okay, G-Luck. Okay, um, the Gluck family. I'm, I'm brainstorming right here of what to do. I really do like this. And I think we'll feature our friend G-Luck nice and tight over here so i will kind of angle that over there just give it a little bit more pizzazz 236 claire i can barely even stay up past 10 like 20 minutes from now i'm gonna be asleep <laughs> and you guys will need to come to my house and turn my stream off for me because lord knows i do not have it in me to stay up that late anymore Alright, so while this is a climbing frame, we do need to make it a little bit dirty right below. Because you would have monkeys kind of like going on and off of it all the time. So we gotta include all that jazz right there and even linking that up right there. And we should probably do the same right there in front of where we want our habitat gate to be. And we're just gonna go through this all and include the rest of like, you know, the beams that really aren't set up. And I think we're actually gonna use... Uh, columns? Maybe? I think the limestone ones may be kind of good. Oh, yeah. Well, we're doing it, guys. We are going to absolutely cement this entire built down. So let's just pop a few of these all throughout here. 
And I will have a mix of like thick and thin ones. Maybe one supports a build a little bit more than the next one. Uh, just having that kind of like diversity, diversity of columns may help us out a little bit. And like these big ones in the middle. Oh boy, these ones need chunky ones. Yeah, that looks... I'm so glad BZ approves. Because if you guys have not seen BZ's builds, he is easily one of the best like gorilla builders. One of the best like large ape builders. He actually built us our chimpanzee interior in uh, Riverbend. And he even started on a little bit of a mandrel one, so I do got to go back and do that too. Um, but hopefully after that, Riverbend will be complete. So that's an update on there. Uh, kind of left that series in the dust a little bit. We'll get back to it soon enough. Uh, I really did have so much fun with Riverbend though. But um, yeah, it's a series that kind of needs to end. It's kind of overstaying its welcome. I kind of like Foxborough Zoo. I have not been back there in quite some time. I really gotta fix that up, especially after everything that Crocs did for it. Literally one of the best builds in Planet Zoo that I've ever seen. And we're just sitting on it. We're just doing nothing with it. And we actually gotta fix that up soon. So I think we could probably make it a point to do that after um, Boggy Bottom is all said and done, because I do wanna get this zoo done as soon as possible. Maybe we could send it to our good old friend, the lady designer, to check out. Because I did send Sugar Pine over to her. So a little spoiler alert. Um, So that is something that we will hopefully be seeing on her channel relatively soon. Um, That monkey will make up a happy monkey. I think he already is. Well, she. She doesn't even notice what's behind her. She doesn't even know that we are currently building her. The best climbing crate ever right behind her. Nah, she's going to be happy about that. Uh, and they can still access over there, so that's great. I think what I'm also going to do... I will kind of have this coming right off of here. Kind of tuck that in right there. And we got to aim ourselves right up there. And if we kind of sneak that right up there. Hopping off to cook some dinner. You enjoy that, LP. wonder what you're having. I had grub up tonight. I kind of regret it. I spent a little too much on delivery. I don't get it. Oh my god. I used to think delivery would have been so cheap, but nah. Prices are expensive. ZSU community is hanging out here. Me too. It's like my best of both worlds. It's like the YouTube stream community with Heather, Claire, Mathily, Mathily T. I'm going to mess up saying that. I never actually say people's names here. So this is like the first time I'm actually pronouncing some people's names. Who fried the rice? I fried the rice. Oh my gosh. It's Annika. It's Zizi. Two of my favorite people popping in. So nice. Um, and yeah, we got that happening right there. So we officially connected that. I know why it's taking so long to actually... I had grubs for dinner tonight. Yes. I had some beautiful little grubs. You saying the leaf fried that rice? Alright. So that's our climbing frame right there. I think that looks pretty good. And we gotta see who made that again. I think it should be in here. So, Gluck. Okay. We're gonna do something a little fun over here. I also have a... Uh, wait, hold on. Where's my India set love the habitat thank you so much this is such a fun habitat to build for i gotta build three more <laughs> well two more really um i think editable whenever i need to get one of these in here i always go to editable dedicated to gluck I know their name is G-Luck, but I feel like Gluck is such a more fun name. And we'll kind of have that be, like, built into there so we can kind of have that happening. But, yeah, that's all dedicated to them because I used that blueprint. Uh, we also got to do something for Leader in here because I use Leader's sails. And we got to dedicate something to him. So, you know what? We got to go over here. See what we can do. Uh, see what habitat we could dedicate to a good old friend leader. The grubs were fried too? Yes, they were. 
and they were delicious. They were like crunchy on the outside, but chewy on the inside. It was perfect. Uh, Gaming Hyena, I hope you have a wonderful night, my friend. Thank you so much for stopping by. It means the world. Uh, I'll tell you what, even though this one has no sunshades, we're going to dedicate this one to Leader nonetheless. Uh, because he's an awesome creator, and we got to give him some love. Did you see he released his build today? Like, his build with Zoov? That was insane. Um, also, why is this taking so long to actually place? Hello? Like, what's gotten into my game? We'll just move that up a smidge and tuck that back right there. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking so long for items to actually place. But that's weird. Dedicated to Lidl. We'll kind of blend that in right there. Blend that in right there. And then we could just tuck that right in. And there we go. Leader has this entire habitat dedicated to him. So I heard this is the place to be tonight. It really isn't. What the hell are you doing here, Joe? Who let you in? When will we see my face? Uh, number one. I don't want to give you guys nightmares until I hit 10,000 subscribers. Uh, that's how it's going to be. Sorry. Um, Alright, so we got that all done. And I think I'm finally going to do what I said I was going to do before and actually make those groves. So, I need those mangroves. Here they are. Yeah, I love these pieces so much. They're just awesome. So I think we're just going to tuck a couple of them all throughout here. Do one right there. And we could do like a small one right there. Maybe it's kind of like built into that. And I'm going to pause the game because I feel like it's trying to, like, navigate the, uh, traversability of the proboscis monkey. Time to make 10,000 email accounts. Do it. Go for it. You won't. No balls. Uh, I also have been loving adding, like, little water foliage to these habitats. Uh, granted, it probably wouldn't happen. But, you know what? I don't care. This is semi-realism. So we're just going to have, like, a few water lilies in here. Uh, maybe I can even use some of the big Amazonian ones. These guys really aren't appropriate for, you know, the habitat or the location of the animal that we're building for. But it just looks so nice nonetheless. There were actually a question on Jeopardy the other night. That was kind of fun. You inspire me so much to find so many new ways through you to make better enclosures in Zoo. I really hope I do. And I'm so happy that you, like, feel inspired by all my jazz. Because, listen, sometimes even I get a little bit frustrated with, like, hitting brick walls. So, I'm just happy that I kind of, like, unhinge that for you guys, if that makes sense. Um, and, yeah, it's just really awesome. ZZ, you should join ZSU. I feel like... No, you are in ZSU. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, yeah. We should trade more. We should We should trade some animals. Trying to get, like, as many species as possible. Who isn't inspired by Leaf? Um, many people. I have made many enemies along my way. Uh, alright. How does this look through here? Really like that. Alright. Uh, I think I want to have, like, maybe one of those big cypress trees in here. Maybe the bald cypress. I feel like that's too much, though. Yeah, these are all a little bit too much. Like, they're a uh, 10 out of 10 right there. Maybe the Tolpios. Tolpeo, I guess. We could probably include, like, one of those guys right here. I feel like that's a nice little centralized tree to have. Maybe we could even integrate that into the climbing frame. Oh my gosh, we could do that. We could totally do that. But I think instead of that one, we'll do this one. Because it feels a lot more grounded. And it feels... A lot more solid. You inspire me, bestie, in so many ways. I really hope I do, Heather. I mean, it's Claire. Oh my god, it's too late. <laughs> it's way too late. Leaf, you have inspired me to make habitats before the entrance. Good. That is literally the best way to do it. I didn't do it this time around, though. Because I built this one first. And I was, like, so inspired by Akron. It was just so fun. Leaf, you bright Stop. You guys are too nice. Jeez. I need someone to yell at me. 
I need someone like Mike Sheets to come in here and tell me I'm a dingus or something. Tell me my reeds placement wouldn't make sense because they're not hitting light. Uh, but yeah, that just, it, you guys are making my night right now. It's awesome. Uh, I think what I'll actually do too. I think we'll even do a few of these like bald cypress knees and kind of like integrate them into this habitat right here. I am yelling, you dingus. Thank you, Annika. Thank you. At least someone keeps me grounded. All right. How does that look? Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, yeah. I say we keep that. We'll do that on this side, too. Yeah, I'm really digging this. This is kind of fun. Not sure if I should keep playing Zoo Tycoon 1 or Planet Zoo. Depends. Do you want to play with olive baboons or dinosaurs? Because those are probably two of the things that Zoo Tycoon 1 has over Planet Zoo. Savannah, oh my gosh, how are you doing today? How's it hanging? How you doing? We're currently building a nice little proboscis monkey habitat in Boggy Bottom Zoo. And it's going really nice. All the baboons are tempting, I know. This is some of my favorites, I love them. Uh, yeah, so I think what we're going to go through over here is we're actually going to start working on a few of the grasses in here. But before we do that, uh, yeah, I apologize why my game is so laggy. I think it's whenever I go near that climbing crane. In fact, what I think I'm going to do. This is going to be a little bit of a stupid decision to make. Uh, because I may forget about it later. And it may wreck every single thing in here. Would you like to see a Planet Zoo pack done in the style of the Zoo Tycoon expansion packs? Kiari, the blue anteater. Let me tell you something. I am one of the largest advocates for not only marine animals, but dinosaurs in Planet Zoo. I don't even care about Jurassic World. Give me dinosaurs in this game. Let me make my silly little dinosaur habitats alongside the proboscis monkey. Because that would be an amazing thing to have. But yeah, I am very much in favor of getting like that kind of stuff in Planet Zoo. Especially like big, big, big um, expansion packs. Like I would high key shill out like how many dollars? Uh, probably like 30, 40 dollars for like a big expansion pack kind of like that. Because I think it's worth it to have marine animals in this game because already... And I'm not going to go too far into saying it because this is pretty much a modless stream. Uh, I've kind of proven that aquatics kind of work pretty damn well in this game. So it's Frontier's move moving on from there. Uh, all right. So from there, I really do like this. So I think I got to find like a tiny bean. These are like way too big. Uh, first of all, I need this color. So just going to narrow it down right there. And we are going to click X. And then from there, we will go into round, I think is the name of that exact beam. Yeah, it is. All right. First try. We can actually single that in. Leaf, be careful. You could get canceled for saying things like that. Believe me, people have said worse for me for saying that I want dinosaurs. Not only dinosaurs, but marine mammals in planet zoo as well it's kind of ridiculous uh because listen if you can have polar bears with the quote-unquote realistic habitat parameters we could have marine mammals with the same i don't see any issue with that all right so that is linked up right there and i kind of want to do like hmm kind of want to incorporate something right there is this traversable though i gotta see this tell them to be quiet i do heather then I get banned from the subreddit. And that's the issue right there. I want dinosaurs, Jake. Jake, me too. I really do. All right. Can these guys navigate up the Tolpio tree? They can't even navigate onto the beams themselves. So that's a little sad. Um, can they? I really can't tell. Is there green in there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sure. 
I could probably figure that out later down the line. You know what I think this habitat needs is a little bit of rock work. Uh, so I think I'm going to go in with a temperate rock. Frilled dragons? Yo, same. I was able to see those guys like the... I think last weekend? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Nick and I went to the zoo with our buddy Dill. Uh, and it hailed. It literally friggin' hailed. And we were like... Well, now what? Like, all the animals are going to be inside. And, of course, the only animals that we really saw was, like, all the animals in the reptile house. But we were able to see, like, a bunch of really cool reptiles. So that was awesome. Uh, we saw, like, a baby alligator, which was pretty neat. How could they be new? Do they not know who I am? Do you not know who I am? I'm Leaf Productions. I'm the man who produces results. My dog just gave me the dirtiest look after yelling that out. So, I, I think she's honestly a hater. Uh, yeah. I kind of like this. Just having, like, some nice big natural rocks in here feels right. And I don't know, I kind of like that view. Gotta decorate that with a little bit of a fence, so I think I'll do it in just a few seconds. Let me just kind of get rid of all that jazz. Band Leafs Dog 2022. Yeah, that's right. You take that, Tal. Um, Alright, so let's pop over to my handy dandy blueprint graveyard. And this is kind of where I keep all my blueprints now. Uh, all my fences and stuff. So I think we'll actually use the one from the platypus habitat. I kind of like that one. My dog is not a subscriber. She doesn't even have a YouTube account. It's so sad. My dog probably is on the subreddit, no cap. Probably is one of the people who gave me the death threats. Oops, did I say that? Uh, Alright, so I think this looks pretty good right here. And we could decorate this all throughout here. Yeah, I have no idea why this is being so laggy. Um, Usually it's not this bad. Leafs dog mod when? Okay, hold on, hold on. I know I said no mods. Uh... But I gotta show this off really quickly. Let me just save Boggy Bottom. Let me just save it before I even place this guy down here. Technically, I do already need them in the park. And since it's just a replacement, I gotta show you guys this. This is a commission I'm working on. Um. Yeah, where is it? I need the male dingo. So I'm not sure if you guys know what a border collie is. But we're going to plop one down in here. It's going to be wicked cute. But no, I kind of like this habitat so far. While we wait, we can just check out like the rest of the zoo. I haven't showed off the platypus habitat yet. You love that blueprint pack? I'm so happy you do, Savannah. I'm so happy. Because it's just such a nice little... Like, I hadn't really sat down to make blueprints before. But it's just so relaxing just to like, come up with these nice big sets and whatnot. But yeah, this is our little platypus habitat. Unfortunately, these guys kind of do get stuck backstage. Uh, so if I do take a peek in here. Yep. Platypi are currently chilling out back here. Gotta make this accessible to them. I gotta figure that out. Because they always get transported back here. And it's so annoying. Oh, it's the domestic dog you're making today. I'm making another domestic dog. I know, it's crazy, right? Uh, it's not a my dog. Uh, that'd be very tiny. <laughs> um, yeah, look at this habitat. It was so fun to make. This is not realistic in the slightest. Um, absolutely not because platypi have like very, very, very specific parameters for their habitats. Um, but you know what? We're just, uh, we're just a good old outback kind of zoo in the Northern Territory just doing our best. Again, why is it so laggy? I have no clue. Um, all right, let's pop our way over here. Here we go. It's very much a work in progress. I do apologize right off the bat, but it's a border collie. I still gotta do so much more work around the face and stuff. And the nose needs a little bit of work. It's a big old work in progress, but it's another dog to like, you know, put in with all of your animals and stuff. It's wicked cute. Um, but yeah, someone just really wanted the border collie. So working on that commission with them. This one's a little bit kind of dusty, kind of like gray. There's supposed to be a lot more darker, but hey, that's your little sneak peek for today. We'll release that dog to the wild. Good luck. <laughs> we'll give it the old yeller treatment. Um, yeah, so moving our way through here. 
Uh, we should probably decorate this habitat a little bit. So I think we're going to go in with our periwinkles. And you guys know me. We're just going to pop these down right in here. And you guys actually get to see the periwinkle treatment live. And for some reason, it still is so laggy. Hold on. Let me check my, like, hard drive. Is it, like, getting a little bit too full? Do I, like, need to empty this? Wow, heartless. I know, right? So despicable of me. Absolutely deplorable, if I say so myself. Um, I don't need that. I need this. No, it's actually more free than it's ever been. So, it's probably just, like, the navigation trying to, like, redo itself every five seconds. Petition for Planet Zoo to become Planet Leaf Pile. That would be the day. Retriever? Yes! Asriel Thanatos. Okay, number one. Badass name. Um, the Cursed Mexican Wolf. I don't even have that installed. I don't even think it works right now. Um, but no, that's the thing. Many zoos actually have uh, therapy dogs, or companion dogs, rather, for their cheetahs. Because cheetahs are very anxious in captivity. And... Many zoos have sought, like, you know, the help of golden retrievers and different kinds of, like, labs and stuff like that to keep them company. And it's the cutest thing ever. It's just so wild just to have, like, normal dogs in the zoo. And I'm not talking about, like, um, if we do look it up. Hold on. Oh, come on. I hate how slow this is right now because it's killing my comedic timing. Uh, Korea Zoo Dogs. Because this is a completely other thing. Uh, the Pyongyang Zoo actually has dogs on display. And it's like, why do you do that? Why do you need to do that? Who the hell knows? Um, Alright, Ravenstorm. My friend, you have not gotten the wetlands pack yet. Well, allow me to cue you in on a little bit of a secret. I'm having a giveaway on the Capybara Speed Build video. If you just comment coconut... You'll be entered to win a DLC for the Wetlands Pack. Isn't that pretty swanky? But yeah, you get all that right over there. So feel free to check that out if you do get the chance. Um, really nice way to give back to the community for everything that they've helped me out with. And maybe we could have another giveaway relatively soon. Because I really do love this pack. It's wicked fun to build for. Just dogs and zoo animals. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's the president of zoo. Everyone, please stand up for your president of zoo. He's found his way to the channel. Please give him a round of applause. Absolutely integral community member right there. If I win the giveaway, give it to Raven. Okay. You'll need to contact Raven about that because I can't manage everyone. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chris. Um... But yeah, I can juggle all this stuff sometimes. If I do remember during the time, I'll be sure. Okay, Chris Raven. Chris Raven. Chris Raven. Chris Rabbit Raven. Okay, we got that at least. President, is it legal? Hello, Forge. We were talking about you slightly earlier about Omaha. Hope you're having a wonderful night. You know you had dinner earlier. Hope that was pretty good. And yeah, we're just building a nice old proboscis monkey habitat. Um... And yeah, I gotta figure out how to like adjust that lag over there. Cause so whenever you build in high climbable piece, like whenever you work with climbable pieces and you have so many of them connected to the, to each other and stuff like that, the game constantly needs to refresh what counts as a climbable area. And that's why it becomes so laggy around those pieces in particular. And it's the main reason that I'm having right now with all that stuff. So that's very, very weird. Alright. Your stupid lizard bit you. No, no lizards are stupid. No lizards are stupid. Sometimes they can be a little bit mean, but they're never stupid. I would love to have a pet lizard. Like, okay, hold on. I'm so jealous of Savannah constantly. Because she always posts her pets, like her turtles and her birds and stuff like that. I'm like, damn it. All I have is a dog that isn't even subscribed to me. It's so sad. But no, the whole dream is to get a nice little pet. Okay, Emily will kill me for saying this. But I just really want a Patagonian Mara as a pet. 
they're just long guinea pigs and listen i think it's my destiny to domesticate them and get a bunch of different breeds of them if i can make that my career that'd be pretty cool i mean all dogs had to be domesticated at some point right isn't that right we all we all domesticated dogs at one point why can't we do the same with patagonia maras why can't we do that we did it with guinea pigs that's like that's like the patagonia maras cousin what, what, what what's come on we just gotta get the whole family back together we do that then we do Cafe Bars, another member of the Cavaday family. Then we should be good. We need a GoFundMe page for Leaf to get a pet Mara. You can get one as an exotic pet. I know. That's the issue. Emily doesn't want exotic pets. And I completely agree. We just need to make them not exotic. Uh, but no. I still love Patagonia Mars nonetheless. Even even if I only need to go to the zoo for them. Uh, by the way, Southwix is like one of the only zoos around here that has them. And that's kind of sad. Uh, but I did not get to see them the last time I went. Because it was hailing. And they would have had their like entire skull knocked out. If they did step right outside their little burrow. But no, they're adorable. And Jen's mod is absolutely amazing for them. So I'm happy about that. If I don't have them in real life, at least Jen has me covered with them as mods. Chameleons are extremely stupid sometimes. Um, yeah, that's... Chameleons kind of scare me as pets. Because, like, don't they try and attack their own, like, uh, reflection? And isn't it, like, so specific, like, their keeping parameters, I guess? I don't know. I, I've, I've been skeeved by, like, doing anything too complicated. Okay. Three-month-old Maras go for 350 bucks. That's cheaper than most purebred dogs. Right? Right? Hmm. Interesting. All right. We're going to copy this all throughout here. Again, these fences are on the workshop, by the way. Um, They only need drink standing water so they get dehydrated. They only drink standing... They, on, they don't drink standing water so they can get dehydrated. Yeah. Like, come on. You're a reptile. You've survived... You've survived millions upon millions of years. And when, uh, you know, good old Schmo, Joe Schmo is like, damn, I want a pet chameleon. They're so cool. They've, like, made it this far in life. Uh, and you can't even get off your butt to go drink from the water fountain right next to you? What's up with that? Oh, my gosh. No, I'll stick to my Euromastics. Thank you very much. I've been looking into Euromastics. They're so cool. Like, I literally love them. I want one as a pet. They're like, they're like colorful. Okay, we're going to look at them right now. Let me pull it up. Euromastics. Yeah, these guys are so cool. They're like the colorful bearded dragons. And I really want one. They're so beautiful. Look at them. They can be blue. Who allows that? That's awesome. Uh, any tips for making a zoo I'll actually keep? I keep getting halfway through my first build and then deleting it. How can I stop doing that? All right. I encourage everyone in the chat to um, throw some answers our way to uh, Anna because I know so many people have different techniques for that. Listen, I'm going to be completely honest. Having a YouTube channel honestly helps. So even if you're just putting out videos for like 10, 20 people, I put videos out for 10, 20 people and it helped me keep like zoos up and running. Um, what else can I think of? Start small. Like, look, this is barely even the size of a full map. The full map would stretch out to like about, I don't know, about here ish, maybe even like here. But if you work on like the career maps, it's a really awesome way just to, like, center yourself and finish a build. Uh, trying to think of what else. Tear stuff down and rebuild. Do not follow Forge's advice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course. Yeah, don't get too stuck on something. Like, let's just say, uh, for some reason, I didn't like this platypus habitat. That button is right there for you. You can always restart something if you don't like it. But it's always keeping that same idea that you started with alive and burning. Uh, like for this one, I was like, okay, 
Uh, let's sit down. I want to make a zoo based on the wetlands DLC. Uh, just all these animals that have lived aquatically or semi-aquatically. And just kind of basing it off of different areas. So just kind of like doing small things at a time. And just really figuring out what you want. I don't really know. Just, just do it. I don't really have any other advice. I'm sorry. I'm not really the best at that. Um, but yeah, just keep pushing forward. Don't be afraid to tear stuff down. Um, and most of all, just have fun with it. If you're not having fun on one habitat, look at me. Okay, look at me in this build. We've been working on this, right? But we've also been doing some smaller stuff like, uh, hold on, I actually need to find it. Yeah, like we did the little dedication signs to a leader and our other friend over there. We've been doing some other stuff as well. We were working on like the actual viewing gallery. We were working on the habitat. We work on this viewing gallery over here. Don't get too stuck on a single thing. Because when you do that, you constantly kind of like talk down to yourself. And you're like, gosh, golly gee, uh, I can't get this thing done. And I won't sleep until I get this thing done. Well, just move on to another thing and get that thing done. And then when you get stuck on that thing, you move back to the other thing and get that thing done. That thing done. Um, there's always something for you to do in your zoos, no matter what. And there's always just methods for you to actually achieve that stuff. So that's my best advice right there. Uh, constantly move, constantly push yourself to do different things. Um, and yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Um, not really sure how helpful that is, but listen, you're saying thank you for it already on us. So listen, hope it gets you somewhere because I want to see you guys succeed. I want to see you guys make these beautiful zoos. Post them in Bro Nation. Post them in the Planet Zoo server. Post them in the modding server. Yes, you can do that. You can do that in the showcasing channel. Um, and yeah, I just want to see you guys do all that cool stuff. So, yeah. I'm also going to decorate this over here because I do not like that section right there. And so what we're going to do, we're just going to rotate on itself. Got a nice big old bush right there. How's that look? And we can do another one right there. Leaf is watching. <laughs> Don't forget, I could ban you, Forge, if you act up. I could ban you from my channel. We don't want that. Especially when you're a co-host on it sometimes. We don't want that. Gonna have that go right down there, too. Have it nice and kind of dirty down there. Nothing really crazy. Nothing really happens down there, anyways. Uh, in fact, I think we could take some hydrilla grass and kind of place that down there. It feels very dirty. Yes, you let me co-host. Do you want to pop on right now? I'm not sure. You can... Because I'm probably going to go on for like another 30 minutes, but if you want to go into recording, I could drag you in there. Yeah, you just let me know, boss. Let me co-host. <laughs> Honestly... If you guys really want to pop on, join uh, join Nick's server that I could drag you guys in. Okay, cool. Alright. So hopefully, you guys will be able to hear Forge and Annika if she does join. Um, Forge? Hi. Hello. Hello. Um... Let me know if you could hear yourself on the actual stream. Let me okay, let me let me check real quick. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And here's Annika. Okay, hey. cool. Yeah, All right. I'm on. Awesome. Cool. Uh hit YouTuber Annika is here as well, who made the Woo! No Wetlands DLC video. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that video made some people very mad. It did. But yeah, how are you guys doing tonight? doing well how are you i'm doing See, great i'm liking right? how this is coming out so far uh, do you yeah, like how my good. like game absolutely froze right there because i did <laughs> oh uh, no yeah oh no hi chris but yeah um just been working on the proboscis monkey and dealing with you two jackies i was gonna say the jackass you know what no that's a type of penguin i'm allowed to say that you two hey jackasses i'm building for those comics. right now <laughs> no way! 
But yeah, this is all we have done so far. I'm kind of happy with it. Kind of like this. I'll even hit play so that our little monkeys can explore their habitat. You know what? I'll use this as a time to catch up with chat. P-line! P-line! Oh yeah, in case if you guys didn't know. This entire complex is called the P-line. As a nod to the O-line in National Zoo. Um, so instead of O for orangutan, it's P for proboscis monkey. <laughs> and also because your nose looks like a little peep. <laughs> I think this is my first underwater viewing I have ever seen for Proboscis Monkey in Planet Zoo. Okay, you gotta check out Hutan Rimba. I think Zekin, uh, Thrive, maybe? And San worked on that. In fact, I think... Do we just want a zoo hop for the rest of the stream? Zoo hopping. That is a good call. Yes, because I am kind of spent on my, um... And I'll even stream it for you guys in Discord so you guys can see it live. Please. I'm going to do it at 15 frames per second because my <laughs> computer is being like dragged in 50 different miles. Uh, yeah, we're zoo hopping right now. Um, that saved, so we're just going to exit to the main menu. And yeah, I think we got to check out Hutan Rimba uh, because San worked on it and it's just really fucking cool. I'm like, not sure if I've ever seen this before. Really? I don't think I've seen it. All right. Let me... Oh, okay. Just spilled my white... <laughs> <laughs> We're already off to a great start. Um, I, I, I dropped my Mountain Dew. I, dropped, I spilled my Mountain Dew. <laughs> you um, dropped your wallet. Oh, God. Okay. That's all wet now, so I'm just going to move that aside. And I'll worry about that tomorrow. Oh, God. No, no. Now it's everywhere. Okay, hold on. Gonna use this so how's up. everybody doing? How is everyone doing? <laughs> Probably better than me tonight. Um, you take care of your thing. We'll manage your chat. Don't worry. All right. Thank God. Let me go and grab a towel in that case. Okay, okay so Anna says, okay, this new help. I'm going to make a zoo and not delete it. Name ideas. Everyone name give ideas. Anna some name ideas. Here's the thing to do. Go on Google Earth. Find some place, like, where you live, and then go, like, a hundred miles to the left or right. And then just pick something. Find That's a city. That's a good idea. That's a really good That's... idea, actually. Yeah, I kind of like that. Like me, Pinecrest. I just, like, it was just on Google Maps right now. Pinecrest Zoo. Let me see. I'll, I'll go check mine. Uh, it's like uh, one of those check your names, uh, like, by putting in your birthday or, or like, your... <laughs> Those things they use oh. to fish your credit card questions. Yes, we need a zoo name generator. Okay, um, so uh, Rapid City. Rapid City. I like that. I like that. Go a little bit. Um, uh, let's see, Carson Zoo sounds like something. Ooh, Carson. Carson City Zoo. Uh, Carson I've City got Zoo. Soda Springs. Call it Epcot. <laughs> I'm here for that. Uh, I, just going to shut weed. down Planet Zoo really quick. Because it's Did you do weird. Weed Zoo? Weed Zoo. <laughs> but spell it uh, O U I apostrophe D, so it's. You could, you could call it World. Did you just say World Zoo? <laughs> Apostle Islands National name. Lakeshore, cool, Apostle Island Zoo. I kind of. If you like want to riff off, uh, if you want to riff off Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this place is called Kuchiching. That, where is that? Uh, it's near Lake Superior. Interesting. I, it might be in Canada. Mm -hmm. It might be in America. I've lost it. <sighs> But yeah, um, that's that's my tips for a zoo name. I'm gonna steal that. I I didn't even consider that. Like, I could do this all night. I... And like the best thing is then you go from there and you look at like what's around this this place. If you if you actually want to go off of like the real place, because that might be even possible. I also think that that is a really good thing for building zoos is keeping them grounded in kind of the real world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
because the more that you do that, the better of an idea you have of the foliage, what kinds of animals can live in your zoo, etc., and so on. Even when you're not like trying to do it for realism's sake, it's just a good thing to like kind of give some focus to your zoo. Yeah, absolutely. Setting some good, solid limitations for yourself, it sounds counterintuitive, but it actually encourages creativity because it gives you that challenge that you have to work around. I mean, just... That's part of what I've loved so much about ZSU. Yeah, exactly. Look at Hope Island Zoo. It's built They're... on a tiny-ass island. And it's so fun and creative and there's... just to like, do different things. Like today, I just built an aviary that goes off the side of the island into the ocean. And it's like, damn, you can't do that you on Kansas map. Kansas. <laughs> Foxboro. I have no idea. <laughs> what are you talking about? Squatch, name of tree, name of geological or geographical location zoo. For example, Cedar Lake Zoo. <laughs> you could go the s Dan route. Name Squatch, I'm telling you, that is a real place that I based it in. I chose <laughs> this place specifically. Have I ever seen the Brookfield Zoo Swamp House? That's probably one of my favorite zoo tours videos. Not going to lie. Uh, just really awesome. Really awesome display. Of How long has it been swamps. since I've been there? Because I've been in that building. Really? Yeah, probably 2016, 2017, something like that. Mm. It's cool. I think it actually comes out looking uh, cooler on zoo tours than it is in real yeah, life. <laughs> I could imagine. Also, don't you love how my downloads aren't working? Oh no. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, when was it? It was a while ago. Pluton Brimbon. And I remember on my old computer, I could not load into it in the slightest. Because it's just so packed with foliage. But yeah, we're probably done building tonight. I just want to, like, tour around. Have some fun with that. I love touring stuff in Planet Zoo. That's, like, half of what I do in the game, is I just walk around. Walk around, steal some blueprints. Exactly. Okay, speaking of that, did you guys see that leader finally released um i'm not gonna even bother pronouncing it uh because it would make my polish ancestors shun in disgust is but, it the um, new zoo he put on the workshop yes i love it it's so good oh i gotta pop in there and steal some blueprints soon andy Absolutely. member for 10 months holy crap oh my god thank you for your support andy. buddy i know i talked to the you life every of day, the party but I love you. here also <laughs> I Croco. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Croco, you want to join? No swearing. We Croco, are we are a kid friendly, list. kid friendly organization. Yo, let's get Andy on the call. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure Andy probably has the best words to speak. Walker. Hi. Hi. Hi, Croco. <laughs> All right, so uh, again, my graphics kind of reset them. Reset. Wow, nice. Uh, kind of reset themselves, so I gotta fix that all up. Yeah, I don't know why I did it. I like opened up GeForce Experience or whatever, and it just messed everything up. So I. I Anyways, this is Hutan Rimba. This is one of my like favorite zoos anyone's ever built. So pretty. Yeah, this is by Stoppable Sun and Zekin. It's just so beautiful, so inspired. Hey Leaf, where do you were you disappointed about how we had a speckled caiman instead of an Orinoco crocodile? I would have much preferred a Nile crocodile. I'll build this one, Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> speckled caiman. That's all I need to say. Speckled. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. Like, I don't know. I, I know we have, like, our modern day... Where are they? Rustic. Like, I know we have our modern day rustic ground floor. But there's something so charming about, like, the old... I almost feel like those two things together would look spectacular. Oh, yeah. let's try that. It's like a flagstone, but also with, like, a little bit of gravel, which is pretty cool. 
Like, sink it e even a little deeper. Oh, yeah. I want to change out the colors, because I have an idea. Wait, are you oh, someone else? Do? That's not kosher. <laughs> no, we're, we're, um, touring. Or, uh, yes, touring. Whenever I go on a tour of a place, I, uh, rip up the stones and replace them with my own. Well, we're not doing that. <laughs> what are you talking here? about? That's what I do every time I go to the zoo. Yeah, that's why he's there, like, every week. <laughs> that's kind of cool. That's, like, a nice effect. It looks yeah. very... You're welcome! Fixed your zoo! Let's fix some more! Welcome to that would be a, That would be an awesome series. <laughs> fix your zoo? I just go like unwarranted into other people's zoos and start fixing stuff <laughs> hey you I have a little it. bit of experience with that already fixing <laughs> island quality golf that is true i took quality golf and i made it even better why can't we fix hope island hope it's island beyond salvation episode but yeah it's easy this is um this is exactly what inspired garden rescue cough cough um more like I need rescuing. Monkeys! Yeah, so this is what inspired me, uh, ZZ, to pop into this map. Um, because this was where I got the oh, idea Oh, that is so nice! Monkeys. I forget who made this one, if it was, um... I forget I mean, look at the foliage. Or... Yeah, it's Psy. <laughs> the foliage alone speaks. No, I made it. I made it. Yes, I made it. Yeah. Made it. <laughs> Frocka, the famous builder. Yes, I... Who uh, very well known to be making things that are not aquariums? Yes. <laughs> like, look at this. Is this not That's an aquarium? That's so pretty. This is kind of an aquarium. What is this? It's an aquarium for monkeys. Monkey aquarium. Monkey aquarium. Monkey Yo. Aquarium. My fate. Aquarium, aquarium for pygmy hippo. <laughs> My fate's won the monkey aquarium. Did you guys know how small proboscis monkeys actually are? Oh no, they're huge monkeys. They're like one of the biggest monkeys. Oh, they're tiny. I'm they're sure my tiny. man's watch can back me up on this. No, look, look at me. I could pick this man's up. Even though it's not a man's, it's a woman's. I could pick this woman's up and yell at her and say, You're a tiny monkey. I mean, tiny Nick monkey. Say to you, so. That is, they're how probably tall they huge are. to me. Nick could probably do the same to you. He could pick you up and be like, you tiny monkey. That is true. He has done it to me before. It's true. I was there. I remember when Song was building this. I remember when Song was building this. I don't. I'm sure Hanukkah oh, remembers. Oh, I totally. I totally was there. Look at all the poop. It's like a different game. <laughs> who, who turns poop on in there, Zoom? I do. It smells good. Yeah, it's for community poop time. Okay, but imagine if they go back with... The man who built it himself is asking to join the call. No, don't let him. <laughs> Let's bring him <laughs> we in. We gotta give our takes. Yes, our takes. This is a nice little community stream. This is gonna be nice yes. and fun. Aren't you glad you didn't do this sooner? Yes. <laughs> Saad, we're fixing your sh your zoo. Oh? Yeah. We're in Hutan Rainbow. We're fixing it by uh, making it hey. here with D. Wait, you're making uh, Wait, what are you doing with it? We're making it better. Okay. It's terrible, San. We're going to fix it. All right, <laughs> let's uh How are you get How are you going to fix it? Hi, Brendan Dorbic. Well, first of all, what kind of what Southeast Asian zoo doesn't have Gower? Need a whole army of them. No mods. Well, this is how about, run now. How about you just put like 15 different monkey species in each exhibit? <laughs> because this is a monkey aquarium after all. A monkey aquarium. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be honest, the only things I would actually fix about, like, this map would be, like, the the tiger exhibit. I'm not 100% happy with it. I wish I could exist. Well, the, the thing that made us talk yeah. about, um, about, like, quote-unquote fixing things is because you've got that flagstone path at the front of the zoo that we were like, oh, what if you, like, put the new stone on that? Just, like, 
the only thing you would want to change about some of these old maps sometimes is the fact that we have new pieces, I think. Gotcha, gotcha. No, Nothing's awesome. wrong with your build. Oh, no, like this, I was just saying, Sam, this is one of my favorite builds probably in the entire game. Because even when you're, like, walking through here, I should take the taxi for me out. You get, like, this awesome sense of scale. And it's just, like, the tiger. Get out. Thank you. A Singapore-inspired zoo would be awesome in this. Yeah. yeah. Ori okay. The original concept for, like, Hutan Rimba was actually a Singapore kind of zoo with, like, modern bamboo, like, uh, shade structures and whatnot. Ah, oh, yes. Singapore with the very much uh, East Asian... <laughs> When did? Uh, well, that was the original concept, and then like Z um, Zekin came up with like use utilizing the Ubud Palace as inspiration from Bali. It worked really well. I, I like the idea that it's all centralized within one plaza. Also, Chris M, we have four other people in here right now. We have Annika, we have San, we have Krako, and we have Forge. Hey yo. No. Howdy. <laughs> Greetings. I love is the table the table still there, yo? Why do you have? Why? <laughs> the chairs are floating there. Oh is no! This is where they have their dole needles. Our table. This is where they have their dolder. Their dolder. Dolder kebab. <laughs> Looking at the map and it's pretty tiny. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that's really awesome because building small is probably one of the best things you can do in the game. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, um, I think it was. Anna, Anna, something like that, who was who was talking earlier. How do I build a zoo to the, that I don't restart? Do something small. The only mm -hmm. time that I've ever finished a zoo is when there were like 10 species in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at Cedar Lake. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you clowns. I never noticed the Arctic well, look animals up here. Why is yeah. this zoo good? That's a good use of pieces, actually, for, like, that very specific sheet. It is yeah, a like, shape. I, I can honestly say, like, this uh, like this being, like, the first animal pack, like, um, ZZ actually said it best when, when he said that, like, this is the best way of, like, utilizing existing pieces and making something totally new and totally different. Exactly, because people complain, eh, no building pieces. Well, just be creative. <laughs> so it's a zoo game. Yes. Like, it, you got to have the animals in the zoo game. Uh, now, I don't want to get political, but... <laughs> no, please, no. <laughs> I'll kick you for... It is God. Brennan's birthday in two days. <gasps> happy early it birthday, Brennan. Happy... Early. happy, happy uh, day of have a terrible birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you wake up and fall onto a bunch of eggs. The duality of man. <laughs> that's that's awesome. You gotta I mean, catch your eggs. It, it, it's fitting because Easter. Are the eggs cooked? No. Good. No. You could scramble well, them. He can cook them. Are the eggs at least fresh? Uh, somewhat. They're factory farm. Oh. Well, I mean, fresh as in like they're not rotten. What else oh. can we check out? Day of Emergence, oh, no. Sea Garden says. Ayo, hey, we've pulled up with that proboscis. Ayo, oh, he... Oh, yeah. Wait, um, you, should check, you should check out the Aquatic Center as well. Honestly, yeah. Really nice. Uh, aquatic Center. I could go on and on about the Aquatic Center, but I won't, because I'm sure everyone doesn't want to hear that. I what mean, is I the do. Aquatic I mean, Center? Not, I, don't I don't think I've heard about... I don't Wait. think I've heard your opinion about it, because I'm actually interested. Wait, Forge, have Wait, you Forge, never, have seen, you this never seen this before? I came in at a very weird time. All right. Like, I think like, I started talking in this group around the Africa pack. Yeah, yeah. but then it took you a while to uh, not be cringe. I mean, I was talking to you guys at, like, Southeast Asia time, but, like, not really talking to you until yeah. Africa so pack. So probably not the aquatic pack then, right? here. Oh, no, this, this absolutely is, not. This is an aquatic pack theme build, so, yeah. As oh, you can okay. see, I dislike this because I'm jealous of the building skill. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? This is insane. Who built this? Uh, this is also Zekin. Why do? Uh, Where... So the entrance is actually inspired by a zoo in Germany, Zoo Emir uh, Bremerhaven. That's great, but there's no fish in this build. So it's obviously all. <laughs> well, if you count terrapins and cavemen's as fish. <laughs> I think well, the Catholic Church does, so we might as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Th this really, this really is a fantastic Cayman habitat. I mean, it's a bit too. It's a bit much. Like, I wouldn't see this in anything besides like a mega budget zoo. Well, this is a mega budget zoo. This isn't a zoo. This is an aquatic center. <laughs> you got one more strike, Rocco. Then you get kicked from the voice chat. Why? What have I done? All right, folks in the chat. Uh, I want to know what's your favorite Easter candy. And then you got a beach for the seals. I like I, I love the way candy. the haul out is for the seals. What's your favorite Easter candy? I right? am a big fan of Hershey chocolate. Uh, they have yeah. these little nuggets that have nougat ones. That's a nougat nugget. Nougat nugget. Nougat nugget. Oh yeah, Raven Storm says their grandmother's ashes. Mm, crunchy. I oh, think yeah. George Hanlon says raw eggs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I especially love when I wake up, roll out of bed, and crush all of the raw eggs. That's when they taste best. I know. Dank Corvosaurus says unborn horses, as we're opposed getting... to the born ones. We're we're getting a bunch of um, Reese's stuff. Jelly we're getting. Beebs. Jelly beebs, yep. <laughs> okay, I, I love, love sour jelly candy. My Croco, okay, there's my... your fish. <laughs> Croco, what kind of fish are those? Uh, dead ones. <laughs> uh, they look like sardines or anchovies. Oh my god, have you guys ever noticed that they're animated? I never knew that. What? I mean, they what? Do swim. I've never seen that before. That's terrifying. Is that is, is that like a recent update, or is this how they've no, always been? this is how they've always been. This is kind of cursed. Owl. Okay, I have a question for the chat. Oh no. Do you prefer drinking blood plasma or red blood cells? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we love making edgy jokes. We're a bunch of comedians. No, I I oftentimes donate red blood cells because well, I, I drink... am a good person okay so whenever they donate blood they just send the blood to my house so I can drink it there. Guys, I please, a... please help me <laughs> please help I me in the chat just... but yeah ser am... seriously what do you guys think of this build so far it's uh, I mean if I said what I really thought I'd be uh, exiled from the planet zoo community forever but you get polar bear that's not a fish. Well, he kind of swims like one. I mean, he he's a very handsome man, but that doesn't change the fact that he's not a fish. They need capybara in here. I I, I I'm I, I I demand a refund. I demand a refund. Oh, as capybara, well. so sad. All right, everybody, drop an H in the chat to help Leaf. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna save those kids being held by Joseph Coney by pressing H. <laughs> <laughs> Jo Joseph Coney. <laughs> now, there's a name I haven't heard in a long, long time. Oh, Lord. Leaf, I'm very sorry. It's this fine. is all my fault. No, it's fine. We are we are the harbingers of chaos. No, but all jokes aside, like it 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 genuinely is an honor to like be on here and such. I am a I am I am the bringer of death. I am the bullet farmer. I'll actually be farm. taking over Leaf's channel for the next three years. Sorry, guys. No, that's fine. Let's do Kowali <laughs> Golf. Oh, yeah, I remember I this. I forgot I even Kowali made Kowali Golf, yo-ho! Is Kowali Golf broken? I am cowering in the corner of my own stream. No, it's not broken. Wanna know why? My no, my I agree with Joe DeSena in the chat. My favorite uh, Easter candy is the Aquarium DLC. I even also though... like eating Aquarium Gravel. Okay, well, we all did. I have not played with the Amogus mod in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, well, the day I do play Jurassic World Evolution 2 is the day that they add more career modes, because I love the career in there. Poor Leaf. Okay. I have a statement to make. One time, when I was in my marine science class, I saw someone eating fish food. Strike yeah. three, Leaf. No, that's fine. That's funny. Wait, wait. You had you knew someone who ate fish food too? Yeah. Like wait, you knew someone Wait, I didn't know them. They just kinda harassed me during class. Okay. That's interesting. What okay. kind of fish food was it they were eating? Uh tropical fish food. So it's like okay. that generic like, like brown the flakes. Up. Flakes, Guys, yeah. The... 
Squatch okay. asks a really good favorite. question. What's your favorite What's flavor your... of aquarium gravel? Uh, I like the rainbow one. So I, I like, rainbow uh, yeah, I like the multicolored one as well. I like the white one the most. You know, it's yeah, a very okay. natural flavor. Yeah, it's very um, crunchy. What do we think that uh, fish food tastes like? Uh, I've, I, okay, I've also tried fish food, okay? Oh, size. never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's actually mostly made out of, like, shrimp and pea protein. Exactly. Are, like, the two main ingredients. And, it tastes really bad. What, co what color ball? Uh, uh, uh pink. Hot pink. Blue. Hot pink. pink. Blue. Like, like a Barbie level pink. Yes. All right, I got a question for the for the chat. Uh, oh. So, do you prefer dog food or cat food? <laughs> Kick you out. You remember do it. when I told you guys about those dog cookies that taste really good? Yeah. The Oreo looking the ones. ones? Those, like those Oreos, are actually yeah. good. Yeah. Well, this is a really chill story. Okay. Whoever, okay. Dog food or cat food? Whoever, whichever sure. side wins, will get one hour of with Leaf Productions. <laughs> Unlimited. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna give you a shovel, and you can do whatever you want with that shovel. <laughs> Leaf is now taking zoo commissions. He will build a zoo for you. You just have to pay him. Uh, uh, no. Leaf is gonna do whatever he wants because this is his. Uh, this is his stream, and we are his guests. Okay. With the new no, remember, cam. It's my stream now. Yeah, it's on. It's so good. Sorry, guys. New yeah. Tajid cam. Kowali golf. <laughs> Going about <a> very <laughs> How long is the stream? I don't know until I get fed up with these guys. Um, <laughs> For like five minutes. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I like how to predict, I'm I'm bringing it back to reality. If I had to predict next DLC, what would it be? Uh, <laughs> I honestly I'll don't this know. question, Leaf. Well, it's only it's been only four days since we got the last DLC. So the Southeast Asian so Animal long. Pack. I have a source that says there's going to be a Southeast Asian Animal Pack with sun bears. I don't believe it. Oh yeah, yeah I, don't, no. I don't believe it either. No way. Okay, so you clearly don't have a you clearly just have a linear understanding of time. I have a non-linear understanding of time. Time <laughs> bends to my will. I don't bend to its will. I don't have an understanding of time. Uh, but yeah, to answer to answer your question in all seriousness, I'd probably say, like, I know it's very very premature to say this, seeing how we literally just got the wetlands pack. But I I'd, I'd honestly say like, either an islands DLC or an endangered animal DLC. I say North Asia. Yes. Cool. Or yeah. red crab. Okay. Another way this. to get disappointed by no gibbons. No want... gibbons. No, we'll get the I rare want... Korean gibbon. Okay. Today I thought about it. Okay, and I think I'm finally on board with the idea of an aquarium pack. Not because of the fish or anything, because I think they'll butcher that, but because I need more aquarium props, like coral yeah. stuff. Coral. Wait, and... uh, how do you think they'll butcher fish? Like, what did, were there any? I, I mean, I'm. This is probably a rhetorical question that I'm going to ask, but what animals did they butcher? Uh, the crocodilians. That's my I, biggest gripe. I mean, to be fair, the alligator and the the alligator and the two caimans, they actually did a really, really good job on. Uh, All right, caimans. ladies, let's tone it down a little bit. This oh, is getting you want to join in the conversation, Forge? You want to join in? Huh? Okay. Uh, to get no call. Oh, really huh? bad job at all. Fun? I got a part two. <laughs> Wait, you did? Sick. <laughs> Woo! Golf clap. Epic. Golf clap in the chat, please. Golf. Wait. Golf has the letter F in it, so F in the chat. I really do enjoy the paleo nerd telling people to touch grass. It's like a fish <laughs> telling people to go on land. <laughs> <laughs> a fish telling... Yeah. Wait, wouldn't that just be a mudskipper? Son, please. ZZ gave an F. Thank Good job, you. ZZ. Thank you, ZZ. ZZ. You are a good chat member. Understood the assignment. Who's getting these quick <laughs> pings? Uh, you. I'm sending you messages. I don't have oh, well, Wait, what's what's this exhibit based? Oh. Wait, is this based off of like anything in particular for um in Kowali, or is it just like Oh, a random yeah, exhibit was, box. Uh, that was the rice patties. 
Oh yeah, that's right. And when Mike did, redid the elephant exhibit, like Koali uh, Koali Zoo, it let's it, not get it, political. Yeah, let's let, not get too political here. Koali Zoo is one of the zoos. I wish they go. accepted me. That's Otherwise, I wouldn't need to waste fifty hours on Koali Golf. And I'm still nice. wasting this time on it. Look at me go. It's beautiful. This is, okay. Why don't we all start answering the questions the chat gives us? How about no? everybody be quiet for Leaf for two seconds? No! Okay. Never. Yes. If you could have an animal in Planet Zoo that isn't already in Planet Zoo, what would it be? Well, Minecraft Pro Party Top. I do have an answer for you. It is the Siamang. Because I love the Siamang. Good answer. It's funny because I'm actually doing a build for them right now. That is, I'm it, so I jealous. I kidding. wish I could be built for. Uh, well, <laughs> let's just say my builds have a lot of weaves in them, so. Good. Because I am the foliage man. There. Does anyone have any questions for the uh, plant man? Or yes. for anyone else? Now, that was like the AMA time. Yeah. Will ask me okay. Anything. I will no. monitor chat for you. You focus on golfing and answering questions. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, Forge um, can feed the questions to Leaf. By the way, Leaf, Forge, can you make a silver marmoset? I don't know what that is. Hold on, Forge. Can you just type something in chat really quick? While yeah. I look up silver marmoset. Oh, silvery marmoset. Look at these mans. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they, they are adorable. <laughs> look at their ears. Um, we need an official like leopard. Aww. Leaf is not official. Um, grandmothers are the best. Okay. Not related either. <laughs> Free the tape here. None of these are questions. You guys are really bad at this. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ban everyone in chat who's not asking a question. Yes. Ban everyone. Ban all. Ban all. Uh, Botanical. Okay, hold on. Botanical Garden DLC for Planet Zoo. Ooh. I would more flowers? not be against that. I would it, be against that. You the, know why? The, the, the only way I would... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. It's fine. Uh, the only reason I'd be against that is because they wouldn't include aquatic plants, probably. Like, underwater plants. I mean, I'm I... sure a lot of aquatic, uh, like, you know, botanical gardens... Oh, oh, like oh, oh, oh! Things. They're gonna go! Woo! There it goes! <laughs> Is it going down the ramp? It I is going it. down the ramp, and it is going to most likely hit that rail. And it goes. Oh my gosh! Far away from oh my the gosh! That was riveting. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. On the, the edge fitness of my gram pacer test. Thank you. Um, grandmother DLC pack leaked thoughts. Who keeps talking about grandmother <laughs> hey, DLC? No what? more. No more grandmother talk. Hank is a Please. grandmother DLC. We have but, to filter that word uh, out. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I, like, I, okay. I'm not feeling comfortable with real, that in the slightest. Real, real talk. Botanical Garden Pack, they drop the price point for it. I think that yeah. maybe would be cool. I think that, um, like, my ideal version of live service for this game would end up being kind of like how Sims does and yeah. have, like, stuff packs at the end of the game lifespan. Yeah, yeah that like, cater towards specific people. Okay, uh, I'd, I'd be down with that, honestly. Like, my big thing regarding, like, niche DLCs and whatnot is, okay, did they cover stuff like Gibbons, White Rhino, Chevalsky Spores, Amor and Leopard, that kind of thing? You mean Black yes? Rhino? Yes. Did I say Black Rhino? You said White yeah. Rhino. Okay. I thought I said Black Rhino. Well, well Black Rhino. Rhino. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't have brought it up. Point is, like, it, as long as they cover all, um, all those, I'm fine with whatever they dish out. Like, if they did the Wetlands pack, or, I mean, if they did Capybara, honestly, but if they did, like, a Wetlands pack after we got stuff like Black Rhino, after we got stuff like Gibbon, yeah, I'd be cool with that. I like these tiny palm trees. Um, ZZ is those freaking out because you're using gutter caps. <laughs> I'm now a monitor for, a moderator for this channel. Okay, cool. I paleo. All right, so that means we are removing anything that says the word grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> remove, but, 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 remove, so, remove. But what if it's something innocent? Like, oh, my grandmother's watching. She wants to say hello. So or your you grandmother will get banned. Whoever's talking about the grandmother DLC, your grandmother would be very disappointed in you. 
and she you won't would, make you any. Uh, you would have people pay soon. for your grandmother. You wouldn't. Download it's not just human trafficking. You wouldn't download a grandma. <laughs> but you would download her recipes. Yes. Which I is now on Squarespace, baby! Welcome, everyone, to my first video. sponsorship! Woo! That was a little wild. That was. Yeah, I mean, it's fitting, that, fitting that it's wild, considering we're game, playing a game called Planet Zoo. That the is chat true. is a bit quirky at night. All right, um, a lot of people are saying something about freeing a tapir. Chat, if you don't okay, stop talking about the I tapir, just... I will send people to your houses. I George just got Scanlon. a hole in one. Congratulations. Woo! Good job, Leaf. Pro golfer, PGA Tour win. I'm sorry for your loss. Um, somebody said their grandma died. I'm um, censoring grandma, but not died. <laughs> uh, <laughs> George so Scanlon keeps asking if you could check out the Rainforest Dome Zoo. I don't know what that is. Maybe on the next live I don't live either. Stream? Oh, I, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we really through it. You should give him a smaller habitat. No. Okay, this here. <laughs> Someone <laughs> is asking about Planet Zoo 2. Planet Zoo 2. No. No. I don't want that just yet. Please, no. I don't want that at all. I'm fine with the game we have right now. Yeah, because then we just have to buy all of that Let's DLC. go to Hope Island, yes! We'll check Hope out Hope Island. Island. Hope, Hope Island. Right, Island. Everyone, Hope Island. everyone uh, please put on your seatbelts. If you uh, do not have your seatbelt on, you are banned from chat. Get your wetsuits. Get your wetsuits. We need to swim in, unfortunately. Anybody... Does anyone here? Does anyone here not know how to swim? Uh, me. Uh, kind of sucks. I live it on an island, but Sea Garden. Sea Garden says, "Hype Island." Woo! Good answer. About that. Hype I'm Island. About that. Okay. Uh, okay. I can dig it. I can dig it. Question to the chat: If you can't swim, then how come I threw you in the swimming pool? If you can't swim, then how come I ran? Uh, I ran over to five pedestrians and a dog oh, i have a question for leaf yes why what are your plans for hope island zoo going forward in the future good question bad question okay we should probably talk about that um can we talk about that when we load into the map so i can actually yeah absolutely poison sure, go ahead what the hell are you doing up this late a poison blade. Wait, how, how how late is it for you down there, anyways? It's probably like four or five a.m. Ten fifty right now, EST. So we ban all mentions for you guys. Sorry, sorry, but uh, can we just ban all mentions of dinosaurs in the chat? No, we need more. Yeah, dinosaurs. yeah, piss off every last paleo nerd. I'll be right back. All right, have fun. Goodbye, stinky. Goodbye. I'm not gone yet, stinky. Oh, oh, yeah, you call me stinky. What is sleep? Jeez. Oh, Lord. Well, welcome. Man. Early riser. Yes, let's go. <laughs> We're, um... Hope you have a nice cup of coffee or tea or whatever drink you have in the morning. A uh, white claw is what I have a right now. A white claw? Yes. It's not whatever, whatever drink I have in the morning is uh, usually from my water bottle as well as I drink from the bottle of existential dread. Uh, I just so have my <laughs> Poison Blade is correct. When the inspiration hits, you just have to build. Amen. Even if yeah, that's, hits, you that's the reason I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually building in a, a zoo that I've been working on for a while called... Uh, I mean, it's basically my local zoo's master plan. Oh, Ashburn? Yes, Ashburn. Nice. nice. Um, but yeah, I, I know a number of times, Leaf, that you've like out of nowhere just like pinged me and been like forge i'm starting to build something i need help right now because i'm inspired but i don't know what to do i just need to get going yes and i love those times because like i to... i know like i don't know there's always that drive to build and it's like a completely different state of being where it's like yeah i want to build but i just don't know what to build i mean that's the biggest issue I mean, your friends you, out. usually what I do is I just like hop around, uh, hop around the map. 
Mm -hmm. And I just, like, build whatever I feel like. All right, I'm back. And, Whoa. like, as long as I make it as visually consistent as possible, I, I can just go far. Heck yeah. All right. Welcome to Hope Island. You may notice a lot of stuff is gone. Oh, goodness. Whoa. <laughs> Do you remember when, Nick, when wow. Nick started Wow, you can fit an entire elephant so exhibit on there. Guys, I'm sorry about that, but I was just very hungry. I needed a snack. That's fine. I didn't uh. even want that anyway, so I'm happy you ate that all, Croco. Wait, did what? you get rid of your... Uh... Oh, no, it's right down at the, the bottom right. What? Okay, I was like, did you get rid of the 2020... Oh, Sorry. Two one two two. Uh, oh, it's still there. Yeah, okay. this is still here. I ain't going uh, George, sweet son of a child. Nick rants about faces of the rainforest more times than on if any of us can count. <laughs> Tell me about it. People are talking about your sheepdog in ZSU, and it's your fault. What sheepdog? You mean the border collie I was making? Build a platypus enclosure. You know what, Minecraft Pro Party Top? If you join ZSU and you get me a breeding pair of platypus, I will happily build for them on Hope Island. Leaf, why don't you give these fine children a tour, huh? All right, so, essentially, you would swim your way up to shore. Or you would say, oh, there's one of the boats over there, but we swam our way up here. Um... So, if I can pop down into explore mode. Welcome to the Hope Island Welcome Center. By the way, Forge, thank you so much for the award for this. Um, oh, yeah. CSU, that was oh, so cool. I did see the award. I really enjoyed oh, that. Thank you for my I, 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 There's award. a leak in the roof. I think I, I think there's going to be a lot of flooding because of it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Open air. Nice uh, central air. We have our gift shop over here with your ZSU merch. I'd nice. like some Gerald merch. Do you have any Gerald oh, merch? Oh, we do. Yeah, no. I want one. Gerald can, merch. Can I, get, can I get you guys a magnet first, though? I oh, my shit. gosh. <laughs> I made that. Gerald merch. Gerald oh, merch. oh, yeah, this, this is That's a PG-13 me. zoo. That's no, me. No, Tani. PG-13 zoo, so there's no, there, there's no children allowed. I, I love that one i would wear that i, I do wish wear I, that I, like that. I wish i had a hat that said fish love me women fear me <laughs> gerald <laughs> so gerald. we have all our gerald merch over here i love gerald and can we talk about nick's prop pack oh i need the plushies so oh my gosh this i like the pack i have like a group of um like vibrant red plushies for the for my lions and cedar i oh, no, not cedar like gateway yeah. Cedar Lake uh, Gateway, it's, it's, it's all good. It's, it's so it's so good to have all these things. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. And they're you like properly scaled too, so it's yeah. so nice. It's so nice. Where's the camel? I had to trade them away, George. I'm so sorry. Wait, jo uh, George? Uh, are we talking no. about this? No, oh, this no, 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 no. Okay, um, okay. Uh, different George, did, different George. Did that camel go to me or no? I forget. He sold should, it for meat, I think. I should keep stud books. What the hell? What the heck is this Torvosaurus guy going on about? He's talking about hedgehog farts. And we're putting them on a timeout. <laughs> yeah, big time. Oh, no. uh, but this is supposed to be our Amazon tank. Hello, Bold. Um, Hi, Bold. This, Hi, Bold. This has Paku and Squirrel Monkeys up top. The Paku Ooh. are not up top. The Paku are down below. Um, where is he? Where is he? They're currently invisible. They're backstage. How sad. But essentially, you would pop up here. We have elevators in case if you have like wheelchair or something, or you just want to take the elevator because you love going up elevators. But we have escalators. Those stairs. No, these are escalators. They're cooler than stairs because they move for you. Is this a blueprint or did you is do that? Is there a de-escalator too? This is How? incredible. Can you put that on the on the workshop? Yeah. Like Oh, and there's the de-escalator. The de-escalator, yes. Hey, Wailing Worm, welcome. Oh, the the de-escalator, so the hostage negotiator. So here's our little. Keep just just keep walking. Just keep walking. Hi. Just 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 keep just keep just keep walking. Yeah, that's what Isn't, I'm doing. I love the detail in this statue. Um... My favorite part of this is the sign that says Hope Isle Zoo instead of Hope Island Zoo. 
We didn't have enough. We, we had to pay the engraver. We didn't have enough money. Um, you have, um, we, spent it, we spent it all on giraffe balls. Sea Garden asked a question, but I'm going to hold on to that thought. But I want to make sure that I come back to that. Okay, here's okay. the thing. If we get rabbits, if we get rabbits in CSU, I'll happily rabbit. make a mod. I'll happily make a mod. I want a giant rabbit. Are, I assume you're going to use the... Wait, what are you going to use for a rabbit anyways? Know, probably because... the fennec fox. What's I, think you, yeah. I think you should use the flamingo rig. Okay. <laughs> I think um, you should use the binturong. Jacob Burns says, Leaf, what's your tip you have with making underwater viewing? You do it so well. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, oh, these are brilliant. I love this. Yeah, I worked on one. Oh, that's lovely. This was fun. Um, uh, this is the uh, Black Vulture Aviary, right? Yes. So oh, if you pop yourself awesome. right over here. Um, ah, screw it. You're in a tree. I am. Oh, uh, you got another view of them. Oh, that's so nice. Th this this cool. gives off major <laughs> Ball Zoo vibes. It's so nice. I think like, it'd be really cool if you uh, did a path that went around the bottom of the island, yeah. too. So that's that my would plan. I kind of want to, like, connect this down here, maybe. That is such a good idea. Um, I got to extend it just a smidge. Just a smidge, of course. Um... But I kind of want to have it wrap around here, maybe include a couple more aviaries along here. Because I, I do want to like focus on birds. If you ever do get that cougar, you could even fit that lynx over there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I think that'd be If you ever do get that cougar, you're going to get that cougar. Oh, my God. It's Drorin. Hi, Drorin. <gasps> Hi, Hi, Drorin. Drorin. But yeah, that's Hi, Epit. Epit's also in the chat. Epit. Hello. If it says to use the prairie dog for the rabbit. Maybe. So we tried that before, but it kept on distorting when it ran. Uh -oh. So, yeah. So I'm thinking the Fennec Fox may be the best way to go because the yeah. Patagonia Mara works so well on that. I don't know why. Hmm. Ban like Banana Brain sheet. says it reminds them of St. Louis Zoo, and I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> you can't you confirm go there this every for day. You? I mean, it, the shape of it, kind of. This is giving me major boss baby vibes. <laughs> do you like? Do you like my spectacled owls? I, I love do. Them. They're oh cute. Oh my gosh! They're ugly. That's no. Cool. They're the best. Look at their eyes. That's like amazing. Say goodbye to those cursed rural individuals. Bold had a really good building tip. Use Planet Zoo to disassociate from your depressive episode. I call it controlling what you can when life feels out of control. Amen. Great tip. Great tip, Bold. So, I, you've got a lot of empty space here. What What's your plan, South Chief? America, I want to say. Ooh. Oh, Leaf, yeah. I have an idea. Elephant free roam. Yes. Elephant walkabout. Yes. It's like the olden days. Say that, but you say that, but that's actually been a thing for a long, long time. Yeah, they call it poaching. Chris, Chris, really? I thought says, they called. I thought they I, called that wildlife trafficking. Chris, I have not built for the quails yet, but rest assured, they're gonna have a nice little aviary. I promise. You. Chris, like, is he from the view? Yes. I assume so. Okay. Bold. I have your Facebook. I could do that. You don't want me to do that. I could easily do that. Who is still alive? All of us are still alive, but uh. We're going to do a Hunger Games in like an hour, so stay tuned. <laughs> I, 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 think, I, think I, could, uh, I think I could win against Krako. Oh, you, I know you... I could beat you all in a Hunger Games. Oh, I'll... You know Have what I'll do? Have a wonderful night, Heather. Thank you so much for being here. Bye, Heather. Oh, bye, chat. Heather. Uh, Annika, with all, due, with all due respect, you're X feet X inches, so... Meanwhile, I'm Me X Y feet Y inches. My five foot two height has nothing to do with my ability to absolutely mangle and destroy you. I took archery, track and field, and I'm really good at climbing. You're talking to a black belt in Kenpo. But we're here to talk about <laughs> Hope Island Zoo. Welcome Hi, yeah. back to oh. Hope Island Zoo, everyone. <laughs> Hope you guys are all having a great, wonderful day. Poison Blade is right. My soul did, in fact, believe me long ago. And Steve Owen <laughs> stole it and put it in that little snake. So we're going to go get that back. 
We've got people <laughs> asking about your tropical house. Yes, so we should probably talk about that pretty soon. Yeah, but yeah. I wanna, I wanna show off the rest of the aquatic house so far. Oh, channel but... catfish. That tank is way too skinny. You it literally is. gave me the approval for that. I did not. Okay. They've grown up. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. All right, so here's the oh, bottom hi, floor. Um, I love here's, like, the my, dome. Like, I know is that up, up, upside down jellies, it looks like? No, nah, this is like my Pacific invertebrates tank. What's in here? I must know. A bunch of Pacific invertebrates. My list oh. is on ZSU. Okay, well, I know you have Pacific purple sea urchins and blue sea stars. Those do not come from the same area. I'm going to give you point off for geographical inaccuracy. That's No, it's from the Pacific, so it's okay. No, one's from the north, one's from the well, south. But it's By the way, fine. um... Leaf, you know the you know the tank with the mural uh, with the mural bill, billboard. Yes, that mural uh, that mural was actually done by a guy named Paul Barker. Um, he he has a company called uh, Googleplex Murals that you can check out. He actually did murals for uh, Brookfield Zoo. He did murals for Erie, um, Erie Zoo. He even did like some some murals for the Adventure Aquarium and just a ton of other facilities. He's honestly one of the nicest people I've ever talked to, he and one of the most nice. He's also done murals for Hope Island, which I think is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, somebody, uh, Jaya, is asking, what are you building? We're actually just going on a tour of Hope Island right now. He's yeah. not actually building anything. I probably should have changed the title, but it's okay. Uh, so this is essentially like a nice little animal, ambassador animal kind of area. So I love those, plant and those planted boards. Like... Oh, those back there, yeah. That was wicked fun to put together. But yeah, you would come here and see our ambassador animals on display. And that's a good way for me to say that my animals are on display, even though they aren't. <laughs> Gotta love that. Oh, one. yes, here we go. All right, so I this is my favorite. Part. This is my favorite thing I've ever built in here. Oh, the carpet. Um, Yeah, the carpet outside. Isn't that great? Love um, that. Yeah, that's totally great for, like, mold. Yes. So here's the aquatic center. And you pop out the elevator right here, and you get a nice little look into the ocean. It is, is magical. Is it, our it guy still in here? Our guy is still in here. We have <laughs> a fake giant isopod for you to touch. I love it. Leaf clickbait title. Yes, I know. Um, I have many of those. So here is um, Furman Mac. He's really happy about this place. But um no, I this is probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done Planet Zoo. It's just such it's a It's iconic. Like yeah. Where's Gerald? We must see Gerald. Well, this is Gerald for now. Because Gerald. I had to take Gerald out of my OVL beta folder. No, no, no. Gerald. But yeah, you're about like 34, 36 feet deep right here. So no, I, I really like it. Um Sea Garden. Just so you know, the couches are a combination, I think, of the, the feed bags or sandbags or something like that, and the uh, safari pack couches. So, I think. I I found them on the workshop. I keep on trying to find really? them again. Yeah, I don't know who made them. The... Oh, is this... Is this the links? Oh, the links! Oh. Leaf, genuinely speaking, you've You've outdone yourself. Like every single build that you do, like be it in be it in Hope Island, be it in Fox, Boggy Bottom, Sugar Pine, you just outdo yourself. Oh, thank Katsan, I gotta have you on the channel more often. This okay. Is, this is doing marvels for my ego. This, I do love the railroad. This links this links is the links that came from my facility and it is being the exact same personality. I cannot I, I kid you not, like it, you could never find it on mine, and now you can never find it here. Incredible. It's truly realistic. <laughs> it is. That explains oh, he's, it. He's... <laughs> She's doing Ooh. her own thing. The inside part. Tell them we're here. I gotta move him out. Or her out. Yulia? Yulia. Yulia. No, it's Yulia. Leo. You Leah. You Leah. You Leah. Women. Am I right? Yeah. North American Cougar. Woo! Best Cougar ever. Yeah. 
baby. Have a good this one, one Chris. Chris. Yeah, this one's yes. all Bye, Chris. Chris's zoo is Sunflower State Wildlife Park. Go check it out. Give him some reacts. Oh, He's yeah. Nice. I'm going to go check that out right now. Yeah. Let's everyone take a look. That's an order. No. Sunflower yeah, we, State. We have Red Fox in here. Oh, I want to get rid of that. Doji Durs. It's Doji Durs. Wait, you have, you have Red Fox in here? Nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, wait, you have Red Fox, the famous comedian from Sanford and Son. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and here we have our Owdad and Guinea Fowl, which I, I don't have any mountain. installed. Have you updated this? No. It looks different. Maybe I just never finished that video all the way. Maybe you haven't. <laughs> it was kind of boring one. But here we go. That is all the room that we have for a tropical house. So we should probably talk about that. Um, give me one second while I actually pull up my ZSU. I will do that. GitHub. Oh, please don't worry. I want to pull it up anyways. Yeah, so I, I could show to... everyone. <laughs> Alright, so I currently have 74 species in ZSU. Uh, don't know how that happened, but... I think... I'm I'm not exactly sure, but I think that Leaf is the biggest zoo in North America. In I CSU might right be now. soon. Which is funny because you've have... got the smallest land. I you were tied. I have for more a little fish bit. coming, so that's gonna be oh a big gosh. bump right there. <laughs> but essentially, I have a lot of tropical species in here. Um, not really too many tropical invertebrates. I do have red leg orb weaver, which is a really cool spider. Let's check that out. And so I gotta get those guys to breed because I promised Pichu and Nick I get them some. But look at them. They're so beautiful. <laughs> oh my Bold goodness. says it's Leviosa. Oh my god. <laughs> Leviosa. I also have Malagasy stick insects, which are wicked beautiful. Ooh. Look at these guys. They're so cool. Oh my. Are you gonna give those to Nick though? Yeah, like, I already gave him some. Some of what? The uh, stick insects. What about the cockroaches and the spider? Cockroach I already gave, waiting for the spiders to breed. Coolio. Yeah. yeah. So we also have those. I have American alligator. I have... I kind of want to move as much in short-tailed pythons in, too. Uh, Nile monitor, Cuvier Swart Cayman. I have some poison frogs I'd love to integrate into there. Green iguana. Day gecko. Gold dust day gecko. Brown anoli. Uh, maybe the African bullfrogs. Maybe I'll keep those in the entr entrance building. Uh, agoutis, I need to move in there. Sugar gliders. <sighs> Tufted capuchins are going to have a habitat. Um, brown rats and black rats, I want to give their own little rat room. Oh, uh, yeah. Very much inspired off of Annika's. <laughs> and, yeah, just a bunch of other birds, too. Hopefully we can move them into, like, a more permanent location. ZZ uh, is saying they could give you their African bush viper and green anoles. <laughs> No, build for them. Okay. They're yours. Leaf. Damn me. Leaf. Let's talk. Leaf, I have an idea, actually. Yes. Make your tropical house, like, have multiple levels, like Amazonia. Oh, yeah. I really want to do that. Because, like, listen, we have... A lot of species, huh? We can do this. Yes. Yeah. Listen, Hope Island Zoo. It's our little sandbox over here. We can do whatever we want. Um, but You've got a lot of space in that middle part. I do, I do yeah. I gotta, ex I gotta expand out to there too. Maybe I could include tropical house up up there. That might be something I'll look into because, like, once you get out of here, there really isn't a weenie for you to look to. That would be really well, good. There is yeah. A I am. I, I'm genuinely curious about like the tropical house in terms of like what, uh, what will be like your big inspiration for it. I genuinely don't know. I I haven't gotten that far yet. That's why he hasn't started building it yet. Yes, but and it's... and like if you if you need me to if you need a foliage guy, oh I'll hit you up. I'll be sure. And then islands know. of color. Oh my god! I, yeah, I was about to end the video, <laughs> but no, I forgot we even have this to begin with. Uh, yeah, islands of color. Here's our little wallaby pit, and we have swamp wallabies and. Yeah, redneck wallabies. Um, nice, nice. Black and white rough lemurs. Everyone's like boxed up, unfortunately. Don't really know what's happening there. Um, ringtails are here alongside brown lemurs. So that's pretty nice. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> Spinning around outside <laughs> of the habitat. It's a mess here at Hope Island. <laughs> Look how he's climbing. That's oh yeah, that's, that, that is a, that's Mort, a real Southwards moment right there. Mort, I can't. I got to move it, move it. <laughs> <laughs> we, because it is outside of the barriers. It's funny because I'm the only Indian here. But are you the only King Julian here? Forge does the best King Julian impression. In, in, in McCain, we Arkansas, 1963. What? Ooh, Laura Keats. <laughs> like that was the that was the actual inspiration for the voice. Oh shit! Oh, well, forgot about the Laura Keats. Yeah. This is such a diverse area. Sorry. I. My brain is on autopilot. That's I'm gonna funny. say. It. That's oh, funny. and it comes down here. That's so cool. Yeah, you I never noticed that. Though. I remember seeing this, and it's like, what a nice place to chill. Oh my god, yeah. I may put, like, exhibits out. Like... <clears throat> that that lobster trap. Like, just everything oh about this. Like, you put an insane amount of thought into this. Oh my gosh, aquatic aviary. Aquatic aviary. That would be aviary. really cool for, like, bald eagles or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it, you could make it like the Queen Zoo we, um, eagle exhibit. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know you love Queen Zoo. Like guys, anyway. listen, the Queen Zoo is the best zoo ever, and you guys should all go to Queens. It's so yeah, it's nice. Some interesting street food. Oh my god, yeah. You guys ever tried fried rats before? They're so good. I Come think on, that if you ever gain possession of Gerald, that this would be a nice place to put Gerald's habitat. Oh, yeah. I think he'd love that. Um, uh, and will, will Gerald potentially get a maid at some point? Or oh, no? Gerald! Gerald already has a family. He has uh, Jenny. Oh, right, I forgot. Uh, Jenny and Gerald Jr. Yeah, that is correct. And we also Even have the waterfowl CSU, conservatory here. Son knows the names of all the animals. <laughs> <laughs> he is the resident zoo expert. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna end it right here. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Um, this was really fun. I'm happy you guys were able to chill on the channel. Hope everyone enjoyed the little comedy crew we have going on over here. Um, and yeah, anything else you guys want to say? People. The only, uh, the only uh, thing I'm going to say. Th thanks Thank for having, thanks for having us leave. This uh, was, uh, any this event was... of investigation by a federal authority, such as the FBI. <laughs> I am not associated with these people. I do not know how I got here, nor wh where I'm going to go, but I do not. Uh, condone the actions of this group. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, hold on. Let me just get situated right here. Um, let me just pull up chat again. But, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much um, for stopping by. You guys are always great. I didn't really expect myself to stream tonight, uh, but this was a really fun change of pace. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else. So, do I have, like, a hotkey to end the stream? I don't really know. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to join ZSU. Be sure to join the Planet Zoo server. And be sure to join Bro Nation. I think I threw the link up to that in the chat before. Um, But, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Tomorrow is a mod showcase, so be sure to keep your eyes posted for that. We go over really, really awesome mods. And, yeah, that's about it. Have a good night, guys. Uh, happy Easter, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care.